you're going to you're gonna start jacking off in the shower. Go right up until you start clenching, and then stop and try your best not to come. <laughs> All right, Zach. I can only guess. <laughs> Oof. I can only guess what you uh, what little last you're dressed as. Oh, oh my! Well, why would we be dressed up as anything? Oh shit! Okay, wait, wait, restart, restart, restart. restart. <laughs> no, 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 no! Hey, this is in hey, hey, everybody, hey, this. Every, hey, everybody! Welcome to the Regurgitated Podcast, brought to you by Snare. Uh, this uh, episode, uh, it is uh, Zach and I, and it, it is the spooky Halloween episode, a month after the last one. Kind of crazy, I know. Also, uh, we, we got we, we got we got a few things to celebrate too. Well, welcome to Wanda. listen to us listen to us tank viewer retention. Oh, I just got an Xbox message from Anime Queen. Okay, hold on. Hey, I know this might be random, but I was wondering if you could check out my YouTube and maybe watch some videos and tell me what you think. My YouTube is Raiden Two, and I have around. 26k subs and i was hoping to maybe earn your sub if you enjoy my type of video we should get this guy on i just randomly got a spam message from anime queen 1847 this is live this just happened right now yeah that's a grind if we're being honest (laughs) i know just messaging random dudes on xbox being like hey that's can you sub to my youtube channel i mean got him 26k apparently that that's more than i have (laughs) We we're beating channel. around the bush. We're beating around the bush, Ben. About the uh, around the the anime girl bush, or what? We're what losing doing? everyone. Oh, okay. So you hey, wish it is it is it is Halloween uh, today. Actually, kind of crazy. Um, and uh, we came prepared to celebrate. To celebrate is what I was going to say. Celebrate to for those who observe. Um, right. It's also what ten, episode ten. Episode, episode 10, 10 which special. Is huge. We made it to double digits. The massive, really. Yeah. Um, true. If you're a, if you're a, if you're a clip sub, eighty one subs. Eighty one subs. That's nine hey, times nine. You're probably not watching this then. Yeah, probably not. Dude, let's go. So, right. up, up, up. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. What a up, up. We're we've, we're losing so many people because no one can see jack shit, huh? Yeah. Um, all right. I mean, I'm I'm prepared. If you want me to, if you want to go take turns, or you want to go all at once. <laughs> I, I just need to tell you that I don't have a costume. I could well, you, put something if, on I mean, or shave. If you don't have a costume, turn your camera on right now. If you're willing to put on a costume, go put on a costume. Do you, do you want me to put on it? I I could yeah. shave or something. What what is that? Shave. Is it, you just shave? I, I can't think. I can't think of anything. I'm really sorry. I just you're pissing no, me don't the fuck be off. Sorry, Sean. don't be sorry about it. But don't like, sorry, I also don't understand how shaved is a costume. Like, I can't go <laughs> trick or treating, knocking door from door. Oh, what are you? Oh, I'm shaved. <laughs> yeah, you don't know this, but usually I have a beard. Oh, hold on. This is sponsored by me. It's name. So actually, I'm a shaved elephant. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is actually good. This actually works out because. Uh, if Sean can guess either of our costumes, he wins the show. He wins the show. Okay. He wins wait. the show. Do, I get the account. Do it. <laughs> well, 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 slow, slow, slow your roll. There's 81 subs, dude. You don't, don't fuck around, I, dude. I, I got a staff show. <laughs> you win the show. You just don't. Yeah, actually, that's a good reminder. We got a giveaway still going on that no one's won. That's true. Um, that's not true. Didn't someone actually win that? No. We've had two people reach out and they're both our friends, which is fine. We can get them t-shirts, but that's not the, that defeats the purpose of the giveaway, yeah, that's right? That's crazy that's, that you gave your friends t-shirts. That's crazy. Yeah. What? Hey, how uh, about we guess? How about we you, you what am I wearing? Who am I? Who are you wearing? Hatsune Miku. You're 100% oh, Hatsune Ford. Miku. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, you mean I before? am ashamed I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. So before I see, I have to guess. Yeah. Yes, you have to guess. All right. Knowing Ben, Ben, how much effort would you say you put into your costume? It was a hundred dollar costume I bought on Amazon on Tuesday. Oh. You spent a hundred dollars on your yeah. costume. Is this going to be used outside of this show, or did nope. you legit spend a hundred dollars for this show? Hundred dollars for this show. Big okay. Jesus okay. A hundred dollar um, costume. Can I ask you, would I be able to guess it? Like, do you think that I could just be like, this is something Ben would do? Yeah. Okay, is it Naruto? Nope. Okay, then I... All right. Uh, Zach, how much effort did you put into your costume? I found it at Goodwill, and I said, this would be funny, and so I yeah. bought it. <laughs> is it a ballerina? 
No. I wish, though. I wish I put that much foresight into this. You have four eyes. Does that mean? Fuck you. I mean? Fuck you, dude. Um, okay. Well, how about we do this? Whoever's closest, whoever's cl- whatever guess you are closest, you uh, you don't win the show. You win um, uh, a smooch. You get a smooch? That? You get a smooch. I'm in. I'm fucking smooch, in. Dude. I'm in. All right, Zach, you're Hatsune Miku. And Sean, you're ugly. <laughs> oh, well, he's no, not I'm, shaved. That's his costume. Next, next podcast, I'm going to be a fucking ghost if you keep talking. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you were getting real close to looking right. like a ghost last episode, the way you were talking. That's true. You, you, you look like you were trying to kill somebody. <laughs> he looked like you're in a deer in a fucking head. All right, all right, Zach, are you ready? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reveal my, my fucking Should fit, we do it dude. at the same time? or? Uh, No, I'm going to do it first. Okay, you, you guys, okay, gonna, you go first. You I go don't know first. if you guys are going to know what I am. But we'll find oh my out. God, you go first. All right, all right, you ready? I'm on the yeah. right camera. Rock Lee. Oh my god, he's Master I'm not, Chief. I'm not Rock Lee and I'm not Master Chief. He's this gay. Is, uh, I would like to pause for a second. There is fucking no way you spent $100 on this. <laughs> That's a very good point. $100. On, <laughs> and what? You I'm just replaced the, the t-shirt with a white t-shirt Wait, he's peter that, griffin are those just cum stains on your dick holy <laughs> shit where'd that come from <laughs> <laughs> you know, and he's got a no idea who i am <laughs> hey how about you subscribe right now <laughs> who, who are you what? i'm runescape bot <laughs> <laughs> did you guess that one did you guess that I one guys no i wouldn't have guessed that Zach, did you guess that one no, I did not guess RuneScape. Although I knew you were bald capping it because you sent me a little tease, a little tease yeah, picture. All right. All right, Zach. Sean, if you guess. can guess exactly what I am, I will send you uh, 10 regurgitated staff t shirts <laughs> to ooh, your house. Huge. Mm. Is it a reference you think that I would know? Uh, um, well, I mean, yeah. I think you would know what it is. Tulsi Gabbard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting inundated with mail from her husband. Let's go. Ronnie Gabbard. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'd be able to guess. No, I'm thinking of someone different. No, never mind. Um, well, let's go. Oh, your Discord look. <laughs> You're a fork. I'm a fork, dude. <laughs> dude, it's a fork night for sure. Dude, it's really it's a, fork a fork night. Fork night tonight, dude, that's fork crazy. Night. That's crazy. So here right, we well, are. If that didn't earn your, if that didn't earn your sub, uh, kill yourself. I don't. True, true, <laughs> I mean, that true. was the best ten minutes of anime history. Well, there you go. Yo, know, Sean, you're playing. Up, you, you're you're really getting into character with being a vegan pussy, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, dude! Oh, Zach, yeah, I, mean, I can tell. I had a hard time putting the headset you like my on. My new this. controller, dude. <laughs> Whoa! This pink lemonade controller. Why do you have a pink lemonade? Is that what you're playing Dark Souls with an hour ago? I think that's dope. Yeah, I think it's. I, I know. I I saw this on. A, I needed Is that a wired, wired. Or are you just charging yeah, it? I needed a wired controller, or preferred a wired controller. Why just latency? No, yeah, well, no. So I've had this wireless controller for like three years, three or four years. And suddenly, because I'm trying to 100% all the Dark Souls games, it'll just cut out. I'll just hear the sound in my my computer going like, doo-doo, because the whatever the oh, yeah, USB disconnects. Yeah. And I thought it was one of the plugs, so I would just kept moving it around the plug. Nope, it's this. No oh, shit. So, so uh, yeah, it might you... be the least spookiest Halloween costumes I've ever seen. I shaved no, you're, you're, no, even. no, you're Jeffrey Dahmer's fork, dude. Did he use a fork? <laughs> Well, who, Gacy, well, he did Ma- eat Gacy, people. Yeah, Gacy yeah. must have used a fork, I feel like. Well, I don't know. He could mutton chop it, right? He could corn cob eat someone. I'm and I'm 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 the RuneScape bot that uh um so I got a Steam Deck, uh Zach. Oh hold on, before you get into that, Ben, I uh I, I just wanted to say if you can um you know, my account has everything in RuneScape unlocked, and if you DM me what like twenty five dollars right now? I can give you the logins to my to this RuneScape account. Yeah, that's crazy. Only twenty five. Do you have Venmo? Twenty five dollars. I have everything unlocked in RuneScape. If you Venmo me at twenty five dollars, I can um, I can send you some Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah, you can send me some Bitcoin. Next, let me say yeah. You got it. You go even higher. 
Yeah. Every, oh, it's one of the, that it's, voice that voice does go with the costume, dude. Yeah, look, I'm a little, I'm a little fork. <laughs> fork. Oh, fork, yeah. Hey, look at me, Morty. Look at me, Morty. I turned right off into a fork. <laughs> I'm fork, Rick. <laughs> well, they got Rick and Morty joke on my gay day, dude. <laughs> I meant to say day. Oopsie. Yeah, let me just fix my... What? What is that? Who's hanging? Nothing. That's how I reach my because I want to be able to turn my light on from sitting. So I just uh, zip tied a dinosaur to my. That looks like Mike's bird. Did you hang a dinosaur? Yeah. Yeah, dude. And it's got my Wow Authenticator. It's got my Wow Authenticator hanging from it. You're doxxed. That's crazy. So I could just I can just go like. You know what I mean? It's amazing that all three of us have girlfriends. So I got a Steam Deck, Zach. (laughs) Yeah. Let's get into it. What do you like about the Steam Deck, Sean? Line it up. Oh. Nice fade lineup. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like this butterfly knife? Comb? Yeah. It's a good thing it doesn't have ant poison in it. Yeah. That's true. Oh, shoot. That's me. This is Steam Deck. Let me ask you something very, let me ask you something very serious about the Steam Deck. Is it, is it actually, uh, like, you can, like, like the battery's good and everything. Like it's uh, pretty. Uh, depending on the game you, you play, it is very dependent on the game you play. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I mean, I I I've been playing Octopath Traveler and it hasn't died in me once. I've been, but it, it goes down to like fifty percent after like three hours, two hours, three hours, and then. Um, would you? Would you say it's comparable to? Let me get my pumpkin. Hold on. Would you say it's comparable to uh, like the Switch or like in um, or? I think that Switch just runs shittier games for longer. But like if you're gonna if you're trying to run like Dark Souls or something on it, just because you're you, um, it it would be like a two to three hour. I would play with a real controller. You dogging on my Switch? You have a Switch? I do have a Switch, actually. No, that's just what they call them. That's what they call them in high school. Bro, look, look what I got. Well, let me go get me. Let me go get Wait. Barney's Switch. <laughs> do you yeah, want to just? Do you want to just make the least interesting podcast in the world and just get on uh, fucking Smash Bros or Animal Crossing and just yeah, kick yeah, around, dude? What, what's your? What's we your, should do uh, a whole episode in Animal Crossing. Yo, yo, give me uh, on air. Give me your uh, friend code right now. Uh, everyone's gonna add add my friend code. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I've not turned this on in like weeks, so I'm trying to figure out <laughs> my shit. I mean, I mean, I haven't since I got my Steam Deck. How do you view your friend code again? Uh, you go to your profile and hit add friend and then... Uh, no, wait. wait. Oh, I got it, dude. Hold your, you hold your this... pumpkin up. I think your pumpkin's a little bigger than mine. No, I got a little tiny pumpkin. Yeah, mine's not that big either. Which is what... Oh, you get, I give that to my dog when my what dog What did you do to gets... my pumpkin? Oh, <laughs> Feel free to put this on air. If you want to be my friend, you can add me at SW0598 yeah eight seven one five seven three nine one um i will add you on on that yeah well that's records public now you can find it readily available oh this, that's me look what this little doofus is what playing game, dude game, i'm a little yeah, what, toad hold on what games are you playing i don't have many i got animal crossing i got mario party i got oh um, fuck i I've been looking to Super play Mario Smash. Party, and Ben keeps saying Mario Party, but then doesn't play with me. Dude. Mario Party's fun as fuck, dude. I gotta get Ethan to play Mario Party with me again. It's been a while. Uh, Mario Party Superstars is apparently good. I've I've played it once. Or twice. That's the new one. That's the one that I the new one, right? Yeah, it's one that I have. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been meaning to get Parsec. You have it? No, you don't have it. Never mind. We should Are go you- to Comic Con. Uh, I'm sorry, I completely spaced out. I meant to say. Is it Parsec or Dolphin that lets you play? I got Mario Party Four, and I've so been we trying can to just play. Do that through Dolphin. We can do that through yeah. Dolphin. Yeah, that's something that I've been wanting to do. Yo, know, dude, playing old GameCube games online is so cool, dude. Dude, your Bay, that's adorable. Your Bay, dude. Yeah, dude. No, you are. You're a dude. No, nah, dude, your Bay. Can someone be funny? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so um, me and my friend or you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to avoid Zach. Um, I don't know if Ben told you this. I, uh, I, <laughs> I do actually. I've been trying to struggle. I've been struggling with what I want myself to be and the piece of mm. shit that I am. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think I can interpret that in multiple different ways. So I'll let you, you kind of elaborate on that idea a bit further. But I think both ways I'm interpreting that I can identify with. Yeah. So. 
I actually made a Facebook post about this like two years ago, and you'd think that two years would be enough time for me to change. To work I, stuff out, yeah. I made a I made a genuine, like heartfelt sort of Facebook post where I was like, I, I am genuinely internally anti-racist. Like racist things do bother me. But then I do say I, I engage in humor. Oh, that is, do you want to just do you want to just make the apology video for last episode? Yeah, is that what so, this but, is? so so, but this is the thing. It's like I don't. I always tell him because Ben was asking me, "Do you want me to just cut cut you out of the last podcast, or like how much do you? What do you want to do about cut it? Cut you out." No, I I, but I, like, I will say this. I love Ben's editing. I think it made it funnier. However, there are certain times where your editing pen made it sound a lot worse than what it actually was. Yeah, dude, there were right. times when we would not say racial slurs, but reference them. Like, wouldn't it be funny if in this moment you said, but then you just bleep it. And it makes it sound like I said the actual right, thing, yeah. right, <laughs> which is right. like. It was not true at all. I promised you it's not. Um, it, was, it was crazy I, when you said this is the my thing apology about Mexicans. Video. Put, this is my apology video. Put, put the, this is me in the costume. Make it black and white. I am. I just want to address the allegations. I take this show very seriously. And I take what I say very seriously. And then, I don't know, cut to something yeah, else. We gotta yeah, use it's that, funny maybe, that I'm a fork. Yeah, so so my, my, point fork. Was, my point was is that I don't actually want it to be censored in, a, in this in a sense like i don't want it removed my thing is like eventually i'm gonna have to stop and i don't know how to stop that so so it's like so I, think, I, was, I think there's levels to it too i don't want to get into like this race is cool with this and this race is not because right, i'm not right, I'm, right. I'm a white dude but there's definitely times especially living in you know predominantly black and pre- predominantly like hispanic areas of the country where like uh you know those people like you to poke some fun at them and oh, they don't give I mean, a fuck. You know what I mean? But then I mean, like also, but like you're posting shit online and you're just, yeah, yeah. you well, know, you're opening thing. yourself up to people to interpret uh, you however they want to interpret you. Yeah. And it's like, it's well, just kind of bullshit, man. That's well, that's what I'm I like. Unironically, <laughs> I have black friends. <laughs> yeah, you made that abundantly clear <laughs> yeah, in the last episode. Yeah, yeah. Unironically, I grew up and I don't just mean in school. I mean like kids in the neighborhood, friends that I made with like outside of school. Just sort of in that, we all grew up in sort of that weird, like, Call of Duty era where everyone just said yeah. whatever the fuck they wanted to say. And it was like, some of the most racist shit I've heard were from black friends. And so it, just, it sort of had this, like, even John, didn't John print out actual, like, laminated black cards at the public library? It's like the N-word pass. Yeah, he yeah, like, yeah. Yep, he, he so, people so N-word passes, it was, yeah. So it was just like this thing. And then I, but I, I got into my adulthood and I'm like, oh, I'm... I'm not thinking racist things, but oh, I'm thinking racist jokes like in my head and I'm saying them almost without control. I mean, with control, but sort of like <laughs> as I go, you know what clip I mean? It, like it's, clip it. I'm just saying racist things almost <laughs> out of control. Yeah, <laughs> just, it, it, it's like it's not that it's out of control. But, you can, but it, like, it's, but it's, like you also recognize I love that we're having a super serious. This episode is going to be just dead yeah. serious. Well, just ben wanted me costume. to be funny. So it's very funny that I'm being saying that I'm actually a complete racist. Yeah, but um, true. Yeah, I think I think there's there's certainly like levels to it. Like you can you can definitely tell intent with with, with certain things, right? I feel like the thing about and and I mean I feel maybe I'm just so used to Twitter because I peruse it all the time, but I feel like at this point intent half the time doesn't matter. You can it, it like matters also, personally. Is it but. is it weird that I think like making a racist joke to your friend personally? That is that race is like perfectly fine as long as they're cool with it, obviously. Yeah. But like saying it in general might be more of a problem well, that's because like you're opening it up to like generalities. For instance, my friend is a real per- like I have a real friend named and we both have made racially charged humor towards each other with each other or whatever in whatever sense. Um and I know that if I made certain jokes in front of him, he would laugh hysterically. <laughs> this is, but, this but then if he saw a video of me being like, oh, yeah, you know, me and my friend and then long yeah. stream of like what he would he would probably be upset because it would sort of have be a, out of his control. I had yeah. a joke that I made to my friend Marco and I really want to say it right now, but I understand if I do. <laughs> it's not going to it's going to be Let's something it totally out. taken out of context. Leap it out, dude. Easy. Okay, okay. How about this? I'll say it, and you just cut to your reaction <laughs> of it, and it, it might even be nothing. 
that's funny. I mean, dude, it's uh, anyway. So we're, we're we, we 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 suck. Don't listen to us. Yeah. I think that's they what we're trying to say. Well, by the the way. Is, I, I, the, yeah, the thing is, I'm making the effort. I'm trying to demonstrate. It's like um, it's like if I drink for like a, a long period of time in a row. I want to eventually be able to say, like, okay, I can go a month without buying. You want to take a tea break on racism? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, I, I, I will say, like, for me, I, 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 I've changed my mind on a lot of that stuff since high school. Cause high school, you know, I, it's at least where we were went to high school. It was like, I mean, that was you would you would shit on your you would throw a racist joke at your friend he'd throw one back i mean it was just like a normal thing um yeah. and now i'm just racist mm-hmm. yeah it's, <sighs> it's very interesting because um do you remember uh that was an admission well, he, of guilt not like a yeah. joke yeah it's funny because um you, you remember you remember the tall kid who was ended up being by <laughs> who he i mean he was adamant he was a hundred percent straight yeah. and he would get mad if you called him gay but he he like he actually was gay, was like, gay he, yeah. like or um i remember i just went up to him and i started talking to him and i i was like anyway nice talking to you. and he <laughs> almost beat the shit out of me it was like he, he almost beat the shit out of me and the person who saved me because i i thought i had a good joking relationship with but we didn't really talk that much. So that was sort of an, uh, you know, that was a stretch on my part. Mm-hmm. I was like, let me extend the racial humor and see if it worked out. It did not work it out. It did not he work was out. Gonna the, he yeah, was going to beat got, the shit out of me. You got to know your audience for that kind of stuff. Yeah, for sure. he was going to beat the shit out of me. And the person who stopped him was, uh, believe it or not, was like, don't beat him up. He's too funny. And I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Imagine being funny enough not to have to worry yeah. about being racist yeah. as well. Holy shit! Yeah, dude, high school is such a fucking dream. What's what's the matter, Zach? You're you're frozen. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, <laughs> I had a situation recently. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was my mom's. It was my mom's birthday. A couple months ago. Yeah. We went to Benihana. You familiar with Benihana? Yeah, that, they do the, the flippy dippy show in the, front of you. The anal beads. Continue, Zach, please. What the fuck is this show? What the fuck is episode eleven? Will be, but we got. We're gonna recoup. We're gonna. We'll do TikToks <laughs> like an hour early <laughs> this episode. <laughs> um, it's my mom's birthday. Rep Benny mm-hmm. on it. Sean, are you familiar with a cocktail? What, 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 let me ask you this: What is well, the name? I'm of the familiar co- with with uh, the inserts that they could come with tails at the end of them. Sean, what is the name of the cocktail that's one part gin, one part Campari, and one part vermouth? What is the name of that cocktail? Uh, I don't remember, actually. Gym class Starts with an N. In the 90s. Starts with an N. Vermouth, vermouth gin, Campari. and what? Campari. Campari. Oh. Yeah, I have had that before. It's good, right? Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> they had it out of they had it on a menu. And Benny Han, I've had it before. I wanted a drink. And so mm-hmm. I order what that drink is. And I feel like the fact that I'm not saying it out loud is only making it only making me seem worse. Um, but you can very clearly order that drink, yeah. that beverage. It's on the Benny Hanna menu. Yeah. And my waiter is a is a is a uh, distinguished African American gentleman. And I order that. And, and he looks at up. me and he says, you say it then. What, what, what I'm do you, not gonna do you, say it. You're gonna say it. <laughs> you all fucking stupid. I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning my room because one of my friends said my room looked atrocious on the, on the podcast. So I'm just cleaning it up. So you're cleaning it live. Yeah. <laughs> That's Look at that zoom in that there. Do a, do a do a zoom. Do a fan cam of this. Ben, you look more and more like Chris <laughs> every day. <laughs> it does Chris. look like an 18th century like surf huh no his brother he has a brother named chris he looks more and more like but maybe it's the bald cap i don't mean to be a dick to chris <laughs> either way i order this beverage this african-american waiter looks at me and says excuse me and i reiterate i point to it on the menu and i'm like it says here like this is what i'm ordering and he goes okay and it takes a step or two back and then he comes back and he looks at me and he says have you had that before and i was like yeah i've had that before it was like, okay. 
and leaves. And I was like, what the fuck was that? He just kept coming back to questioning me on like, have you had this before? Like, what did you just say? What is the drink? And I was like, it's very clearly on the menu. Don't make me repeat this, sir. Is it the Russian drink that is like N-I-Q-Q-A or whatever? No. It's I remember what it was. Negroni. N-I-K-K-A? Yeah, it's a Negroni. It's a Negroni. It's oh, the cocktail. No, there's, there's one. Everybody, we, well, I went to a party and everybody was laughing at the name. It was like some Russian drink. And it was like really, really strong. And it was like N-I-K-K-A or N-A-Q-Q-A or some weird shit. How familiar are you, either of you, with, um, fuck, I was just about, I had the name, um, <clears throat> oh, do you know, like, the very famous, the Necronomicon, the author, um, I don't know who made it. Are you talking about, are you talking about Abe's Odyssey? No, well, give me a second, let me look up. H.P. Lovecraft, are you familiar with the lore of H.P. Lovecraft? Oh, I've heard his name before. Um... So in one of his writings, there's a god that's mentioned. Uh, it's N I G U R. Oh, it's uh, it's it's uh, well, it's Shub N I G U R Arath. Some Shub Path. <laughs> Damn, that <laughs> is no, on the nose. that is on the nose. Yeah, yeah. So that is how you say it. And you would not believe the because I've played Dungeons and Dragons. I've played like other. There are uh, Call of Cthulhu is a, a a game, and it's it's very it's like a Key and Peele s- sketch. If you're playing it with other people, you go like, yeah. So anyway, Shub. <laughs> Did this ever <laughs> cost me my next job, dude? <laughs> yeah, you can just cancel that. <laughs> cancel that. Just cancel it. Um. Anyways, yeah, I'm never. Kanye I'm West ne- still has work, I think. So, so I got a Steam Deck, Zach. That's pretty sick. I got, you know, I was trying to stop with this racial humor, and you people brought it out of me. <laughs> you people, let's let's, 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 let's let's close that conversation now. Mike is going to be so disappointed. In me. <laughs> it's, how, it's, how do we it's, close it's, a conversation about not being racist? But I, I will say, I will say again, it goes, goes back to the episode one of the three white guys talk about cancel culture, or whatever. You go back into old content, don't approve. I'll tread the line these days, but I feel like there's a difference between like just really, really pushing that line to the point where it's just downright unacceptable. And then just kind of like lightheartedly yeah. poking fun at generalities yeah, that I, we all kind of acknowledge are like, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, I don't think anyone's interpreting anything that we're saying. as like, Oh, ha ha. People are different, but it's, it's more of just like, you know what I mean? Pointing out how silly it is that people yeah. do that in the first place. Right. Yeah. 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 I, I, well, I, I mean, that generally. is the, to be clear, that is the intention. Like, if I make a joke, the thought process is not like, well, I, I there's a uh, there's a higher level of irony, right? So obviously, the thought process is, how do I turn this joke into either a pun or an entendre for race or whatever? But the the main thought is like, it's crazy how stupid racist people sound when they say it. Yeah. Yeah, people that uh, unironically just say racist things like, "How are you like a real person in 2022?" Right? Like, how do you unironically feel that way? And so, and I do that, but it's not just with race humor. It's like with any type of humor. Like, most of the time, I like to say stupid shit because I think it's hilarious to hear stupid shit. Yeah. In my head, I'm like, yeah. "This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard," and it came from me. So that's even funnier. Like, I wonder what the what the like the social viewing because I think that we I mean I'm white and straight. Sean is uh, straight at the least, and Zach is white at the least. So um, he is I just, the least. White. I have a different <laughs> perspective, right? Of, ten, ten, <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that. I was thought about because I, I I mentioned the 23 and Me test that I did, right? Yeah. I was planning on when I was doing writing like stand up stuff again, I was planning on doing a bit about that because I, for context, I took a 23 and me test. It came back. I'm like, like 0.2% like African or whatever, like not even half of a percent. And I wanted to do the stand up bit where I was like, as a white guy, what do you, what do you do? What do you do with that information? Why did I do that test for myself? Right? Like, I'm not going to say it. Like I'm yeah, not, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna it's just, say it. It's, it is like what it am is, I gonna do? Go around and just tell people, yeah, I'm, I'm part African. Yeah. And Charlie, what what do I do? How is that useful to anyone? Yeah. 
<laughs> no, it, it it's I, it is a funny like a, a funny bit if you were to like say like I can say I can say this slur now that I'm two you know one percent African I've lived white my whole life like that is a well, funny I thought bit. what I was gonna what I was gonna do is I was gonna like start off with that and then I was gonna talk about like how the test just tells you you're white and you know what I mean and just go off on like a couple other things and then just pause for a second and just go really though I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> just, if you keep expecting me to say it. I'm not. It's, 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 I'm not gonna say it. It. I, it was. I mean, the whole like. Um, I mean, didn't age well, but the, the whole uh, Lil Dicky Chris Brown music video where he, he turns in fucking what? What? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, how how he how he switches into Chris Brown and then he yeah. starts just saying the n word like that that that's like that's funny, like that's funny to me. He's like, oh, he can finally say it. That's good. But that's also like Chris Brown is like a well known like abuser and shitty person, and so just right. to come out to like make a song where you want to switch bodies with him, dude. Hey. I, I do be wanting to hit women. Hey. Can I like sticky fried myself into a woman beater? What? I don't actually remember that. Did Lil Dicky say the n word? But it was dubbed over. No, it was it, he. He switched bodies with that Chris Brown. Been, that would have been right, funny. But it's, so, is it Chris? Brown's was it Chris voice? Brown's voice? Yeah, yeah or was, it was a little Dicky's voice? voice? Because yeah. that would have been real funny. Um, I <laughs> seen, <laughs> well, remember I, that video where it was like, like, like white guy getting away with saying the n word, and he's just like roasting some black dude, and then he has yeah. his black friend with him, and he just he says it. That was. Funny <laughs> I did yeah. not that see that. That's bit. funny. I did yeah. not see that. You don't have to be talking to me like that. Nigga. Do you want to see me twerk? <laughs> so I had this dream that I, I, really, I, I had this dream that I feel like would be a really funny or could be a funny. So is Dan bit. Aykroyd from Coneheads? Is that true? Did he uh, dress up as a fork? Yeah, that was the purpose of the movie Coneheads. Is Dan Aykroyd dresses up as a fork? Yeah, you're like I gotta say that you like now Vince he sells Gillian Crystal so Skull vodka and promotes conspiracy theories. Yeah, I kind of want to buy the know. Crystal Skull vodka. To be honest, he said something about it being purified by fucking crystals or something, and it's like, all right, buddy. All right, sweet dude, you want some? You want some Crystal Skull vodka? It's something about Dan Aykroyd doesn't he like wholeheartedly believe in aliens and like a portion of the oh, Crystal Skull yeah. vodka? Proceeds go yeah. to like researching actual aliens and shit like that. Yeah, the thing is, like, he did this whole thing where if you pour, he I don't remember. So this is going to be completely out of context, completely butchered. But he was said he was talking about how um, I think it's his vodka. The reason it's crystal based or whatever is because he was shown by some vodka expert or crystal expert. And if you pour regular vodka over a crystal, like it leaves like a yellow residue or it turns yellow or something. But his doesn't because it's filtered by crystals or like works with crystals yeah, or of something. Course. Right. That makes and sense. It, it's, it's like, to be honest, it's just a crystal skull, which would be really cool. I, I It would be really cool to to just have a skull of crystal, but it's glass. It's not actually a fucking crystal. You know what I mean? There's, yeah. there's no shot. It's a real like quartz. I mean, I feel like quartz is in that part. No, but there's just no shit because it, it, they would be polishing things. It, it would be harder. To, like they could form glass to that, whereas yeah. quartz has to be. Um, dude, it's, it's celebrities going crazy is such a funny meme. I think it's because we're so disconnected from like the the that elite. Was actually, did a really good story uh, episode about that like 15, 20 years ago. <laughs> did they? Yeah, it was about it was actually about Britney Spears. I was gonna oh. say, um, it basically it was about how like it it's a there's like an elite not like the Jews, but uh, yeah, well, it, 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 it's oh, good point, yeah. roll there, Mister Mister West. Speaking of speaking of Kanye, that's what I was gonna say. It's it's not. I, He's I, in the I, news I, segment. I wrote. I, I'm, <laughs> Tim, so I'm I very wanna... hesitant to say like a media like like elite or whatever because fucking Kanye West thinks it's Jewish people or whatever but um basically it's like that like Britney Spears was a teenage pop idol she was like found as a child essentially and like I America, found Ben's found plenty of children yeah America is like really big on fucking consumerism so just, I didn't like, say you did anything why did you find them <laughs> Yeah, you find them. You're how good at it. Bit, how has this bit moved all the way to you, Zach? I don't understand. 
Oh, well, <laughs> you brought it up. I so what I was thinking just now. I was like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if I just started shaving, like just on the podcast? And I'm gonna start shaving. I'm just gonna shave. My, just I have leave only. Have the, you ever the been clean shaven? Have you ever had a clean shaven Ben public? Or let's find out. Continue your story, Sean. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. Yeah, now you left, so yeah. we can't even talk about it. Anyways, um, graphic, new graphic. Welcome to to Racist Talk, starring me, the Racist Fork. Oh, I'm homeless. That's a good joke. I hope. I hope that was a good joke. Zach, yeah. are we friends? <laughs> He's about to ask you for a house, dude. <laughs> ben Silver, where did you go, <laughs> dude? Dude. Oh, she's a fork. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fork, dude. <laughs> you guys can talk. I mean, this is going to be muted you, because it's annoying. You utensil. <laughs> Shut up, dude, you utensil. Oh. <laughs> Top gun right there. Oh, uh, how do I look? That's Ben. Uh, like a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Who just goodness. shaved his beard, am I right, dude? <laughs> Wait, I could get a funny picture. Wait, let's see if I can get a funny one. Should I Dude. take a picture of me too? That's funny. Wait, let's see if I can get a good pic- picture for the thumbnail. Is that a good thumbnail picture? Oh, wait, that's the camera. <laughs> <laughs> we good? Yeah, that's good. I, I like yeah. that. Okay, cool. Yeah. There Dude, we go. Dude, I look fucking stupid. There we go, hey, brother. Hey, hey. Um, Alexa. Dude, I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> um, so, Zach, I got a Steam Deck. <laughs> Put the Top Gun animation logo. Oh, um, um, you got a Steam Deck. What do you like? Uh, we, we, we've been beating around this bush for a while. What do you like about the Steam Deck, huh? Um, ben doesn't really like when there's bush to beat around, dude. He prefers it before it's grown. He's a pedophile. Dude, it looks so bad. I hate this. I, I think we should it. seriously. I think we should seriously consider that idea I brought up last time, where we just hire like, like two to three Asian guys to just no context, just replace yeah. us for an episode of the podcast. Like, Never oh, explain it. I will help fund that. Yeah, it's free. <laughs> it's free I'm just thinking we go on Fiverr and we just find like two people who do some services and just say like, hey, just record. Like, like, just something. I don't know. Yeah, those, um, fucking, late, those fucking latex caps are crazy. Yeah, it gets fucking hot. So, um, I actually do have conversations that I want to have with you, Zach. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna leave now, then. Um, Zach, I got a Steam Deck. It's pretty fire. Yeah. Um, I also, uh, I realized that it is. It is now about the time for Halloween, and I don't do anything yeah, for uh, Halloween, and nobody uh, ever comes to my house. Yeah. Yeah, no. No one comes to your house? No one comes to my house. Maybe one day, you should one year I bought a bike. So you're not, candy you're not in the frozen. Uh, one, one, year, <laughs> one, one year I bought... I said, yeah? One year I bought a lot of candy and nobody came. Now, do you mean trick-or-treaters or do you mean friends? None of my friends came. No, 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 November the next day. I was kind of sad for him. Come, he couldn't come. Oh, I'm gonna come. Dude, honestly, Are you inviting Biden. I'll pay for your Biden is my favorite president. I'll say it. You won't say that again. Biden is my favorite. President. Hey, can we get a let's fuck Brandon in chat, dude? Let's go, Brandon, dude. I fucking let's fuck love Brandon. Dude. I love Brandon, dude. He's so good. Brandon, Brandon redacted. We have any conversations to have, Zach? I missed you. It's been a month. It's it, we actually. What's funny about this is we haven't talked in a while. I genuinely have had like life shit happen. But the thing is, is all that shit's just got me so fucking depleted that it's not even like, like I'm I'm not like against talking about. It. I'm just like not like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like it's not the it's not the energy to to just be. Yeah, you know. I do. I I've. I mean, my I've been fine. But it's crazy that it's been like a month. It's like yeah. insane to me. Well, so to, to give some insight to the viewers, what we're going to try to do is every Friday for the next two episodes. Yeah. And then we're going to stagger it out over November because I'm gone for a lot of November. Yeah. So now that I'm unemployed and have nothing but time on my hands, I will 
I will, I'll be in the lab. I'll be in the stew. Yeah. Yeah. And if this episode, if, if, if episode 11, look, listen to me. Hold on. If episode 11 isn't a banger, I will post my address, my physical address online, and you can, f- you already have my Nintendo friend code. If episode 11 is not a banger, if episode 11 is not funny, find me. Okay, say the we'll uh, Edward as, as much as you can. What? <laughs> you said if it's not. <laughs> Oh, Zach, Zach, you I didn't miss you. Tell you what, I no, no, you know, I, I bought, I got a Steam Why Deck. The, you got a Steam Deck? Yeah. You know, we could, That's we crazy. could be holding some like actual real conversation, and we've just kind of devolved into chaos a little bit. It, so it let me, let me, fault. let me round it all up. Yes. It's fucking Sean's fault, dude. Let me round it all up. All right, so check this out. Um, I play a lot of video games. Listen, he's back. Oh, you don't want me back. I get it. I I play a lot of video games, Zach, and I've been playing a few video games this last month. How do you feel about platforming games? I don't play many video games anymore, All but right. uh, uh, platforming <laughs> games are fine. Give us a D platform games. No. After this episode, probably. So, Zachary. Zachary. I watched. I watched. Uh, Marsha. I'm like a Cuphead villain, dude. Kind of do you watch Marsha? You watch my aunt? Yeah, yeah. Oh fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I watched her quite a bit. And the way that she says Zachary. Zachary! Yeah, ex- almost exactly like that, yes. You can make three men come in once. In one, even. Yeah, we had the first tower, second tower, Pentagon, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So what's dangerous about a woman like Marsha is that uh, a, a, a like a person like Marsha being a woman is that they have multiple orgasms. So, right, you know. right, right. Men Allegedly. get multiple orgasms. If you take this out of context, I promise you there's context for it. See, this is a joke for the uninitiated. This is a joke where my aunt, my fictional aunt, played by uh, played by Emmy viewing actor uh, Ethan Coleman. Uh, is, is my aunt who gets off to national tragedies. And so the joke here is multiple orgasms, multiple tragedies. And you get the picture. Men yeah. can have multiple orgasms too. Men usually have multiple tragedies without orgasms, but true. That is actually Post true. Tragedy did, clarity. Did you know that? Hmm? Did you know that men, men have multiple orgasms in their life? Are you, do you not believe that men can have multiple orgasms? Do you actually, Zach, do you not believe that men can have multiple orgasms in their life? Why is this put on me? I didn't say <laughs> shit about this. Do, do, do you, are you are you against men having multiple orgasms? Against, uh, do I believe they can? Yes. Am I against it? Yes. You only, yeah, you only know would. I have a very funny story about having multiple orgasms. Oh, please, <laughs> fill us in. Have you, is, it, is it the story about when you were driving home? <laughs> Zach, Zach wouldn't actually know this. Zach, I um often jack off in my car when I'm alone. Me too. Is that true? And Sean, I you answer just, first. Yeah, I actually have jacked off in my car driving. <laughs> if, if 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 you don't have a problem with roadhead. Oh my god, that's exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said, dude. <laughs> But you don't it's use funny. your hands in roadhead. You let someone just else imagine, do the work. Just, I like to imagine the context for this in my head is like you driving through the woods at night or something, just like fucking whatever. But yeah. like what actually is happening it's is you're like traffic. at a red light with like a family of four and, and a grandma on the other side of you just looking right. in. It's not- it's not traffic, dude. Sometimes it's like you're on like a two hour drive. You're alone. It's like pitch black outside. Do you, you put your What do you do if you make a mess on yourself and you're uh, well, 65 miles well, so per now, hour? So now I have two stories to tell you because <laughs> <laughs> because I, I texted the, the boys. Oh. I texted the boys. I was like, you know, um, where's this going? I was like, you know, I don't know how. Uh, pa, 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 pa. I, I hate to be this guy. We got to make this funny, though. So I apologize in advance if I'm stepping over your story. But so far, we got you're jacking off in your car. And when I mentioned coming, you said, "Okay, oh, I got two stories about this." And the next thing you say is, "So I'm texting the boys." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where's I don't this? See any I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm oh, playing so, the audience here. So I, Where so is I this jack, going? So I jack off in my car. Okay, it's in my, great. It's in my, it's in my pants. Comes in my pants. Um. 
Um, there's, there's techniques to do it safely. Just to be very clear, I, I don't think it's reckless driving. Um, really quick. By by the way, this segment sponsored by Dave's name. Cool. Yeah. Well, actually, that helps a lot. Believe it or not, the friction. You don't want. Let's do an ad read. read. If you're um, um, an auto jacker. Yeah. An we don't mean jacker. stealing cars. We mean um, you know, stealing we mean, you know, cars. If there are three things that you like to do, thing. shave your balls, l- l- lather up your wee wee. And auto jack. Oh no, it's not. Okay, so to be very clear, it's like over the pants stuff. You can come over the pants? Now, if you wear some athletic shirt. No, 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 no. no it's come, easy. So, okay, I don't wait, know wait, what no, I'm talking that's, about. That's I want to make this very blowing. clear. Everything I say in this segment, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to be clear, it's not the best jack off. Like <laughs> to be very clear, like you can it come, is like wait, am I crazy? I I haven't come over my pants with you know without touching yeah. my penis. Oh yeah, you, in like you, since I was like fifteen, bro. Uh, well, okay, but it's not like okay. Well, what are you doing, you fucking high roading me, dude? Bro, I I get boners from hugs. <laughs> I don't fucking I can't do that. I can't do that. Bro, I'm a pro at jacking off. Anyway, so I, I jack off while I'm. Put the EDP four five five clip where he's like, "Is jacking off a sport?" Would you guys consider jacking off to be a sport? <laughs> you know what I'm talking that's about? That's a picture. Then this yeah, then yeah. a picture of your shit to a minor. There you go. Yeah, that's yeah. And then try to pick up your cupcake. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was, was it a cupcake anyway. or was it a cookie? Oh, muffin. I it thought it was a muffin. Cake. No, it was a cupcake. <laughs> right, that's the craziest cupcake. thing. Could you be any more of a pedophile? You get caught trying yeah. to trying to meet a 13 year old girl, and when someone confronts you about it, you go, "No, I'm just here to pick up a cupcake." Say anything. Cupcake makes you sound like even more of a pedophile. Yeah. If you just, I'm here to pick up my gaba ghoul. I'm here to pick up my fucking girl. And, it's, and also a how he said, spread, I, how he said, I'm here to buy drugs. Too. Yeah. Don't say cupcake. He, he said cupcake. That's how he said it. He's a cupcake. cupcake. <laughs> he sent pictures of his shit to a 13 year old girl. Hey, you familiar with that part of the story? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody. Everybody has their. Ways of talking to women. Well, that's oh, fine, yeah, no, no offense to my, my scat heads out it's there. A, in the yeah, audience. it's a child. Not, I'm not, not talking about not the, the music. It's not the poop, dude. It's the child. Like, it's well, have you seen my? Yeah, mustache? but that's like a weird, like, like. Look, if you're okay, let me let, 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 let's let's reset this here really quick. I'm glad we're not talking about me jacking off anymore. Yeah, we'll get back. You're not done, motherfucker. <sighs> if you're into some weird stuff, that's fine. I'm into weird stuff too. The, the second. You take it to kids. We're allowed to kink shame, yeah. right? Oh, like, 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 like you are not. If you're in, if you're in the like scat fetish shit, people might call you weird. If you're my friend, I might make fun of you for it. But like in general, you're fine. Oh, I see what you're you saying. Yeah, do that. If you like get kids involved with that, though, I'm allowed to say that that's weird it's, and make fun of you for it. It's, it's not that. Not that there's like uh, an okay, but. It's a worse form of pedophile. You know what and I mean? It's not like there's a somebody good, that's the worst form yeah. of pedophile. No, no, it's a worse form of like. So if you're just, like, I have a thought that's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Remember how I said that? I, remember how I said that I was definitely worried that I was more fucked up than Zach. Yeah. You can forget. It. You can forget about that. Would you? What, all right. Uh, can you play? Would you rather? Can we just start playing? Would you rather? Actually, no. Just try to tell your jerk off story, and then we're gonna play. Would you rather? Well, so I do still. I have two stories, right? The the first one, just to, as a reminder, as a refresher, the first story was about multiple orgasms, and then we got distracted with me talking about how I I have have in the past, not currently. It's not something that I do right now. Okay, but you're gonna go on record and say you're never gonna do it again. You were too oh, excited oh, about no, this oh, earlier. No, yeah, no, no. You were too excited about this earlier. Do I, do I want to now. shut that window for my the future? No. Itch. My balls itch. Sorry, well, I, I was talking to myself. Live on a show. Like, <laughs> that's how it starts. Dude. That's how it starts. You're driving. You're alone. You're like, damn, I'm kind of itchy. It's like, oh, damn, going up and down feels kind of good. But um, your balls. Listen, you just like play you with have, your balls while you're. If you, don't, if you don't do ball play, I don't know what the fuck you're. De- this is the problem. <laughs> Biggest problem with jacking off is he thinks that it's like unhealthy. But it's unhealthy the way you think about it. Like, yeah, I but, enjoy yeah. masturbating. Like, 
that's something that's fun for me. Yeah, if, I don't uh, like walk away going like, wow, I'm going to kill myself because I'm so disgusting. Yeah. And it, this jerking off is an interesting thing. I think that as long as you, you jerk off and you, and it's not a replacement for anything, or if it's not, if it's not affecting your sex life with a significant, potential significant other, you're fine. Yeah. What sex life? Am I right? <laughs> hey, big bong. Anyway, two um, orgasms. Um, yeah, no, no. Anyway. So I, uh, the first story was that I, I jacked off in the car and I texted the voice. I was like, um, yeah, so I walk home, I walk into the door and I tell, because I tell Haley, I tell Haley, Haley Im- immediately. I'm like, listen, I got a shower. There's cum all over my pants in my underwear. It's in my ass at this point because I was driving for like an hour after. So now it's just like in my ass. So I'm like, I'm going to shower. And she's like, that's fucking gross. Just go shower and throw your clothes in the wash like immediately. And I was like, I don't know if I should feel bad that she immediately believed that I jacked off in the car or that I, she didn't believe that I cheated on her. Like, I was like, should I interpret this? Because appro- like, if you come home and you're like, honey, there's a bunch of cum in my pants. I didn't cheat on you. I was actually jacking off in the car. You know what I mean? Like, you would think most That's people a very would be like, fair oh, point. You're, I never you're thought cheating about that. on me. And I'm like, I'm a little bothered that Haley didn't think that I was cheating on her. Do you think you just ruined someone's relationship that in the future someone will be watching this episode and go, shit, I didn't even think he was cheating on me. Oh, yeah. So, well, I'm glad Haley didn't think that I was obviously easily cheating on her. But <laughs> um, um, I think Haley can rest assured yeah, knowing yeah, that yeah. you can be out in the wild and there'll be no problems. What if this is yeah, just like so, a really like convoluted way for him to like trick us into thinking that he's drinking off in the car when he really is just like clapping some fucking cheek? In his car. That is um, the master plan to be cheating on your girlfriend. It's just to set up like, nah, I just jack off in public <laughs> as a cover to be cheating constantly. Uh, unironically, I don't. I legitimately do not think I could ever like physically cheat on Haley. Like, I don't think I could be in that mental space. I could imagine like if someone was like nicer to me and she was mean to me one day, and I could just be nice to that. You know what I mean? Like an emotion. You know what I mean? There's like emotional yeah, cheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like like I, I think I could. Oh, easily... that thing where it's like no one flirts better than a woman at a bar upset with her boyfriend or something. Yeah, that, that type I've of thing. I I could definitely imagine being extra nice to a woman if Haley and I had an argument or something. But I would never ever. I would literally never ever. Yeah. Be... Anyway, not the point. I text. No, keep going. I text the guys and I'm like. Yeah, so I don't know how I feel about this because there's no Haley d- just immediately believed that I just came in my pants and like sat in it for like an hour, and everyone fucking flamed everyone. Everyone was yeah. like, "That's was fucking weird. Why would you jack off while you're driving?" And I'm like, "You motherfuckers would have no problem if I said Haley gave me a blowjob while I was driving." It's like you don't have a problem with road head. You should not have a problem with me giving myself road hand. Preach. Um, this is the Andrew Tate content we need regarding yeah. masculinity. What the fuck is you have both hands on the wheel when you're getting roadhead? I don't even have hands on. I, I stare, oh I, now now you're making weird. You don't keep both hands on the wheel oh, at all oh, times. Hold on. Are you talking to me or Ben? Ben. Yeah. Yeah. You got I a gangsta. My, I, yeah. I, I drive you with can, my knees. Haley Haley hates when I drive because I drive with. I unironically drive with my knees. If the if the road is straight or there's like a slight bend, I can steer with my knees. I, I literally will I'm constantly doing stuff like this or like stretching my shoulders while I'm driving. Unironically. Yeah, sometimes when I'm driving, dude, I'm just, you know, got beer like this and I'm just <laughs> Oh, speaking of it's a side story. I was when I, when Haley Haley and I went with Brian and Eric and Evan and Danny. Hold on. Like I'm still driving, by the way. <laughs> so, um, I, anyway, I went. I was hanging out with um, Eric and Brian with Haley, and uh, it was like 10:30 at night. And I, I was like, "Okay, uh, you guys, Haley and I have to go home. It's about an hour and a half drive away. So uh, you know, it's nice hanging out with you guys." And Eric goes, you "Want a beer?" And I was like, "No, er- Eric. I, I, it's like an hour and a half <laughs> drive home." And he's like, two? You want a beer?" And he was like, "Hey, you want a beer?" And I was like, "No, uh, Eric, no, we don't. We don't want to drink and drive." <laughs> um, so anyway, here is actually. I think this is actually a very funny story. Um, the the background that isn't necessarily funny is that um, there was a sex positive uh, discussion going on at my college, Fantastic. and it, it was it was this uh, couple. They actually have a book called I Heart the F- Female Orgasm, 
but they were giving cool. this t- they were given this talk about emotional physical and emotional intimacy with your partner and sex and stuff like that it was sort of like this thing that RIT was trying to promote um and this guy kept saying men can have multiple orgasms and I, I was honestly like nah you're retarded that's like that's some bullshit weird thing <clears throat> and he was like he I even joined the conference it was like an auditorium filled with students and I was like how there's no way <laughs> I literally like raised my hand and I was like you're lying and I called this guy out and he's like here's what you're gonna do and he gave me a prescription he's like you're gonna edge seven times you're gonna you're gonna go you're gonna go <laughs> I got a seven- prescription for edges yes. yes so he's like you're going to you're gonna start jacking off in the shower and he's like go right up until you start clenching and like you're about to go and then stop and try your best not to come just like hold tight it might even hurt the first time he's like just hold tight and i was like and then he goes do that seven times and then on the eighth time finish and he goes do that for like a month and i was like okay fine yeah fine whatever and i was up in rochester Haley was in new york so i now you're gonna put this in the car was in Connecticut. Yeah, now I gotta do this in the fucking car. You're gonna edge no. yourself in the car. It's gonna no, be in so, traffic. Or I can't come. I can't. No, I, come. <laughs> no, I actually, I actually had the whole semester, three months, to do this. So I did that. I did. I went three whole months where I would just jack off and like I'd stop. I'd clench. It didn't actually hurt, but it does feel weird. And then it's like oversensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you like on eighth, you bust within like half a second. It's like you start touching and it's over. Right. And it, it shouldn't even count as an eight. But um, then I get, I visit Haley and she was like, I was like, can we have sex? Can we have sex? Please. <laughs> and, uh, please. Like, please, please. Uh, can we have sex? And uh, she was like, she was like, oh, fine. And <laughs> um, so we have sex. And I swear to God. I swear to God, we're having sex, and I get the the feeling, and I I it happens, like I like orgasm, but no, like you don't feel like nothing comes out, and I pause for a second. I'm I'm in, all right. I'm in. I'm on top of her, and she's like, "Is everything okay?" And I'm like, "I I actually don't know. Like, I don't I don't think I came," and I like I pulled out and I like stood up. Condom was not there was nothing in the condom. It was still like a. Holy no pee at all. <laughs> and, and I was like, I was like, do I go back in? Like what? And we had this whole conversation. I was like, I don't know what's going on. And it wasn't until after we continued to have sex and I had an orgasm that I was like, a second orgasm that I was like, it fucking worked. That's and then I just month? never did it. But it's like a month of you work. Sure that to honey come is twice more once. viscous. <laughs> ketchup's more viscous than honey. <laughs> we got to get your science experiments. You've got to get like poster boards, and we got to get you doing like these little science experiment things. Yeah, every time true, actually you learn you learn minute details about the human experience through talking to sean yeah no no, 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 come. no i will I say i will I say you, yeah. you you can you can come and then wait like 10 minutes and do it again oh no 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 uh, yeah i agree but this time this was literally like i had an orgasm with no ejaculate so this mm. was like i could literally go i may going. have over the course of my life experienced that accidentally mm-hmm did you have to like fucking edge seven times for like a month? I was a weird fucking kid, man. Yeah, maybe. Don't maybe. I, I? I'm not gonna go through the sure, Rolodex sure, of sure. weird sexual. But I'm, I'm just saying. To... I'm just saying that actually sort of did change my perspective. Like, in, in do an drugs? Do like party drugs and try jacking off because you because like you can't come sometimes. But you get the you know, food. Funny. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, hey uh, Sean, I I'll ask Zach this afterwards. Um, what was the what, do you do you remember the first thing you jerked off to? I actually do remember the first time. I uh, <laughs> do you? Yeah, actually, I'm trying to de- I'm trying to decide how much of the story is pertinent, and if I say too much, it'll sound way weirder than it actually was. But I was like, um, it might have been in high school. I think I was freshman in high school. Really? Um, yeah. Well, you know, you know, puberty hit me real late. That's true. I, I didn't jack up. I literally did not even, I didn't even have sexual thoughts until like the second semester of freshman year. Um, Hmm. I had some sexual thought. I think I had a little bit of like an inkling of like, oh, she has a nice butt. But I I didn't have like, um, Mm. like the actual 
like rocketing kind of like hardening. The rocketing, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the rock hardening. Um, but so I was, <laughs> I was actually sleeping over my grandmother's house um, in separate rooms, of course. Uh, my grandma was very attractive. <laughs> That's when I came twice. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I couldn't fall asleep. It was my first night with an erection it was like my first real night with like a solid erection and i could not fall asleep like it was yeah. like i mean it was like full mast i was tr- i couldn't even lay on my side because it was so uncomfortable and i couldn't Jesus. fall asleep and then i i had like a micro sleep i had like a micro sleep where i had a dream where i had a car that this the driver's seat was in the middle the steering wheel was in the dead center of the car the driver's seat and i had <laughs> i okay well I, i'm at this point i there were two people that i used to know from middle school and i had this oh, I see, dream yeah, I see how that could be weird content yeah. i had this dream where they were on either side of me and i swear to god they were crying like on my shoulder and then i woke up and i still had this erection so all I could think of was like, I'll just start jacking off to them, not crying, but yeah. like sexually. And so I went into my grandma's bathroom and sat like reverse on the, the toilet and just like held my dick, like sort of under the toilet seat and just started like rubbing soap on it. Blur and, me out. And, I'm naked. Um, and it, it actually was like, it wasn't, it didn't hurt, but it definitely did not feel good. And I remember having this thought of like, so I came and I was able to fall asleep. Um, and I remember having this thought of like, that wasn't that great. That like, that was like, that was what people talk about. Yeah. Jerking off. Like, that was, that was kind of late. You want to see remember, something you've never seen before? Yeah. And I remember. I'm a fork oh, with a fork. I've never seen that I remember, before. I remember the next night being like, well, I guess I should try it again. And like that, that was like yeah. the, so the, the second time of, I was yeah. like, yeah, that was pretty good. All right. I remember the first, I don't remember what, probably, so I always, in my mind, I tell myself that I was nine years old, but I don't think that's even possible. Might have been nine. more like 11. Nine. I was, I, really was, I, was like four, I was like 14. <laughs> I was really young. I think I was like exceptionally young. I'm with I, you. I was like nine. Yeah, I was like I, nine or 10 as well. I humped a pillow until I, I creamed in my on the pillow. <laughs> you want to know what it was? That was actually <laughs> back in the day, like early, early, early YouTube. Yeah. YouTube used to allow nudity yeah. for certain content. Yeah. So it was not censored. Oh, yeah. And you can find this on like Pornhub now and everything. But it was on YouTube back in the day. It was this series called Naked News. And it was oh, just a bunch yeah. of news oh reporters God. getting naked. Yes. Over and that was yes. it. There was no sex. It was just news reporters reading the news and getting naked. I was like nine years old and I found that on YouTube. You know, um, same. You know, it's like, so like I was telling Ben, cause you, you probably, you don't know this, but Ben knows this. Puberty hit me hyper late, hyper late. And, um, um, but I had, I did have my first like non pubescent, prepubescent attraction to a woman. And it was from the, the movie, uh, my stepmother's an alien. And there's a scene where she's, so she's an alien. The, the basic plot is that she's an alien. Um, and it's a scientist, a lonely scientist, and they like fall in love or whatever. And she notices a magazine with a very attractive woman on the magazine. And there's a scene where she wants to mimic what this woman looks like and her breasts grow. Like she's able to shape shift or whatever. And oh she, like, my. Her breasts. And I, as a kid, I was like, I don't know what uh, what about this I like, but I really like this. You know what I mean? Like, I, I was just like, I, I, w- I watched that movie like a hundred times, like from Blockbuster. We would go to Blockbuster and I would get that movie. And my parents are like, this is like a C movie. I think it, it might even have been like a shitty Dan Aykroyd. Let me look up. Dan um, Aykroyd coming in clutch tonight. By the way, I uh, there, I, I looked up naked news on YouTube to see if it was still around. Doubt, doubting it was still around. There was a lot of uh, softcore porn. It's a Dan Aykroyd movie. Yeah, Kim Basson. Wait, is it fully naked on YouTube still? No. Okay. There is though. R slash YouTube nudity or new to YouTube boobies or something like that on Reddit, where they it's a whole subreddit dedicated to finding nudity on YouTube. 
Oh, no, Maybe, I did, I did, did I just put did I just put our audience on to something? Dude, what, this whole dude. episode's gross. Okay, so here's the problem with naked news on Pornhub. It's not <laughs> like episode's gross, man. Now it's just people fucking. Like they, they've they've sort of ruined the art. Do you know what I mean? Well, is that the real OG well, naked news crew? Because what I'm trying to f- so I found the naked news crew. And now it literally is people like touching themselves. And is that was that is that normal? I don't remember. Not not back in the back in the day. Yeah, I don't want to say it was platonic because it's not. But they would sure. keep reading the news and they would get naked as they read the news, and like that was it. Can you imagine a, a dude just absolutely going to town on a girl, a woman that's just saying the queen died? <laughs> <laughs> Can we make that happen? That has to have. Uh, I had a so I had a dream. This is what I was trying to say earlier in the show before Ben was a fucking dumbass. Um, okay, I, over here. Um, I had a dream that um, Latinas and white women liked me equally. Um, um, I had a dream. <laughs> I had a dream that penises had a compass in them, and they would become erect. They would become erect when you face north. And and in this dream, I was with a bunch of female coworkers, and we were lost in the woods. And I was like, "Yeah, I, I can't help you." <laughs> I'm like, I, I, was like I, 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 yeah. I was like, I can't help you. I couldn't. I was like, <laughs> so that's fucking funny as hell. And I, I I'm an up, every dream. And I, I know it was weird, but I was like, this would be a great fucking bit. Like, uh, mm. I often have, I either have very abstract dreams or dreams that I wake up and I'm like, am I, am I okay? Is that a yeah, problem? I, 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 I don't dream anymore, really. Like, I, I have like. You, if you think Go that's ahead. like uh, drugs or alcohol that does that, that or diet or mm-hmm. lack of sleep in certain times of my life when I'm working really hard or just getting older and stuff, I don't know. But I maybe have like one dream per year, maybe like a couple dreams per year or something. I don't dream much. Mm. I'm sure I do. I think scientifically you have a dream every night, but like I wake up and instantly like there's just no. It's like mm. nothing ever happened. Yeah. But um, when I was a kid, I had dreams a lot, and um. I had this recurring dream that I was running on like kind of parkouring, I guess you could say on rooftops in New York city. And I was being chased by like dinosaurs, like velociraptors and stuff. And I would get to the last skyscraper. I would look around and I was about to get devoured by dinosaurs. But then I looked down and I see my friends, family and everyone I've ever loved. And they all say, Zach, you have to jump off and kill yourself. And if you jump off and kill yourself, instead of getting eaten, you'll save us. Oh, shit. And I would jump right. off the building and kill myself. <laughs> and I had that dream like multiple times. Like many times. Did you succeed in killing yourself each time? <sighs> yeah, and then I woke up when I hit the ground. Yeah, I've had the following oh. dreams and shit like that. I, I had one dream one time where I was living in West Virginia. And my neighborhood in West Virginia was flooding. And I was trying to like desperately save everyone's like dogs for some reason and then the whole town got flooded but instead of dying we just became like spongebob which was the whole neighborhood just oh, became like bikini that's bottom cool. yeah yeah so it was completely unnecessary to save people because it would have just it would have just been spongebob so i had a i had a i had a dream when i was in uh middle school uh that i was um making out with uh gwen from turtle drama island and then gwen turned into my uh you know how like People in like scenarios will change in the dream, but you won't even recognize that they changed. You like you won't acknowledge that they've changed. It'll just you know that they've changed. It ended up uh, Gwen ended up turning into my old uh, buddy from middle school, and I was making out with a with it with my dude friend, and we were falling in love. Oh my but god! But I'm completely straight, so I don't know what the fuck that was about. Are you sure, honey? Not, after that dream, no. Uh, yeah, so I, I bust I busted a nut on a pillow. Uh, it was like it was like a drip of water. This is back. To the, I'm talking. I'm back to talking about my first time jacking off. Hey man, I do you feel shame. Sexuality is a, a spectrum, kind of. Do Do you know? Uh, yeah. Do you remember your first time jacking off, Zach? That was naked news. I told you. That was the first Jesus time. Christ. Yeah, probably. It's not, it's not, maybe not the very first time, but like that was kind of the real like, <clears throat> oh shit, this is like a thing. Mm-hmm. I remember, I remember being in my parents' tub mm. and touching my my little pee pee, uh, and there was this girl on one of those dumb reality love reality shows on like VH1, 
and she was like a Latina girl. And she, I think her name was like Fuega or some shit like that. <laughs> I don't think that's your real name. <laughs> and, not her real name. And uh, yeah, I nutted in a tub and while I was like in a, in, like in a full tub. <laughs> Although I will say, I never, I never once in my life had the talk. Never, neither, not once. Oh, you know what? But, you know what? You know what? Okay, but but hold on. I, I, but I remember the first time. And this is except for the naked news part. This is after where I found like real porn, like a real pornography site. And it clicked in my mind, and I said, "That's what sex is." I remember having that thought of like, "That's you know what that really is." Because you hear that word, but you don't know what it means, and then you see, it, you're like, "That's that's yeah. sex." Right? Like, that's almost, what it is. Almost like a, there's almost like a, a um, like an, an inherited definition. Like once you see it, it like clicks somewhere deep in the recesses of your mind of like mm-hmm. this makes sense. Yeah, like, I don't know what it was. It's like I saw it, and I was like, "Whoa!" And then like I had this weird moment, yeah, where I was like. Oh shit! I understand that. Yeah, like I remember the, exactly thinking like that's what that is. No one I, told me. I just remember finding it and I, being like, "That's, I never had, that's I, it." Like, I never had to talk, but um, I do remember watching an episode of South Park where Kenny McCormick dies of getting a blowjob. He gets a blowjob. He gets syphilis and he dies. And I asked my parents. I was like. Can you get syphilis? Like, do other people just have syphilis? And my dad said, I hope that she goes, we're in the car, we're driving. And and my dad goes, I hope that episode didn't scare you away from sex. And my mom what aggressive, gives him, what a sex yeah. forward positive father. And I, and I was like, Well, I mean, it, it seems like if if you can get syphilis from a, a fucking mouth. And I was I must have been like nine, like eight or nine. I was like, if if you can get syphilis from a, a mouth. And my dad goes, well, I don't expect you to feel this way now, but one day you may actually enjoy someone's mouth on your penis. And my mom goes, Dan, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, this, like, as a child. And my- I, don't, I don't think this is, um, I'm going to tell a story about Ethan and maybe he'll be upset with me saying this, but he has um, a, step, a stepfather or had a stepfather and then at that time, step uh, brother and sister and his step sister walked in the room and said and asked to ask the stepdad point blank. What is dad? What is porn? And his stepdad replied, I don't know. Just Google it. Oh, no. And Ethan's mom walked in and was like, don't do do not do. Don't don't know. Oh, d- d- well, you know, you know <laughs> like the first time I saw porn. OK, so it was 2009, which means I must have been like 12. So maybe I'm just fucked up, but like I was 12 years old, and my my, my I know my mom got very pissed. Off happy Halloween, house. everyone! Yeah, yeah happy Halloween, Halloween. By the way. yeah, yeah. Um, Ecto-pop the first time you want, the first time I saw porn was uh, <laughs> was fucking Pokemon Crater. Um, oh, really? Do you do you remember Pokemon Crater? Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I don't watch Pokemon. Pokemon Crater was a website where you, you you just played Pokemon, but like there were other people. It was a web based like there were other people playing, and there was I don't know what it's called. There's I'm sure a hacker could explain. I'm sure a redacted could explain of um, where instead of a pop up, it, it it like preloads it and then loads the actual thing you want. So when you hit backspace it actually fills your thing. So I, I, I hit back on the thing to go back to the previous page. And it was just a bunch of women with turkey basters in their vaginas, like actual turkey basters. It was That's pictures. Fun. It wasn't gifts or anything. It was pictures. It was, must have been like a four by four brick, like a wall of like 16 different pictures of women with turkey basters in their vaginas. And a link to some website, like check out what they're doing. I don't even remember what it was. But I remember going to my mom and being like, I have no idea what's going on here. Like, I, cause I thought showing I was gonna, your I, mom. I thought I was going to get You were really open communicating this to your oh, parents. Yeah. I, I, I was always just like, you got to not. Like, I knew uh, instantly. Like, don't listen, don't I don't tell my this. parents what I watch or whatever. And like, my parents don't. Well, Ben knows this. My dad walked on me shaving my balls one time and he was like, oh, sorry, I'll be back. And it was just like, well, that's fine. I, that's different. Yeah. But so, but like, I didn't want to get in trouble. And I had no idea what I was seeing. I, I literally must have been like eight or nine and not like the eight or nine. Like I mentioned, it was kind of like this must have been like 2005 or or four or something like that. And 
I remember going to my mom and I'm like, I have no idea what this is. This isn't Pokemon. Like, can you? <laughs> this is not Pokemon. <laughs> and, and my mom was really upset that I saw that. So like my dad like turned off the computer. He's like, you can't go to that site anymore. And it was like a whole thing. I couldn't play Pokemon Crater for a long time. <laughs> And I, I literally have not been able to look at a turkey baster since without thinking about Pokemon Crater. That, that Pokemon ruined turkey basters for you? They ruined yeah. Thanksgiving for you, dude? The only similar experience I had was I remember um, my parents getting really in the, the show Spartacus back in the day. Oh, okay, and if you're okay. unfamiliar, there's a lot of like complete nudity and like full yeah. sex scenes. And I remember being like, well, if that's a show my parents like, I'm sure I'd like it too. And I found it and watched it myself. And I tried bringing it up to my parents one time being like, so I tried watching that Spartacus. I was like 11. <laughs> I was like, try watching that Spartacus show. It's pretty good. And they're like, do not. <laughs> like, do not. Absolutely do not. Dude, Continue what you're doing. I I, I mean, I'll, I, this is some fuck shit. But I, uh, one of the is first it? times I, I went to watch porn. Um, oh, sorry. I, I should say, I should say first, I didn't really often watch porn. Uh, I would watch soft oh, core, yeah. soft core porn on YouTube. Uh, I would look up girls kissing, and then I would play that. <laughs> yeah. So we've we've all googled the white T-shirts on Google yeah. image safe search off. Um, but I, I but then one of the things that scared me away from porn was I was not unfamiliar with like like boobs and vagina, vagina right? Are you sure? But I looked it up. I, I, who would have guessed? But I looked it up and I saw a, a woman sucking a dog's uh, uh, ro- uh, red rocket. So I'm like, all right, <laughs> I give up. <laughs> yeah, like uh, barnlove.com or some bullshit like yeah, that. Yeah, I was like, so all right, I, I give up. I was like, okay, YouTube it is. Have you seen the YouTube video of the 10 reasons why you should have sex with your dog? No. That's some white woman shit, man. It was a white woman. Oh, yes, I've seen that. Yeah, and she You've fucks her dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. Sorry, white on, women, you fuck dogs though. I think that was on <laughs> Philip DeFranco, wasn't it? He, he covered it. Uh, yeah, maybe. I thought I thought I watched was... it. I I watched it like. Oh yeah, all, all the videos are re. Or is this a yeah. re-upload? Oh yeah, response. Oh, no, these are video. responses. They're responses. Yeah. Girl gives ten reasons why you should have sex with dogs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the dog looks. I forgot about this. The dog looks like. Please don't fucking rape me. Do you remember? Do you, do you remember? Get in, nodded, dude. Remember when, like, twenty seventeen, maybe it was twenty eighteen, when Alinity did that stretch and her dog sniffed her fucking ass, and everybody thought that Ooh. Alinity was fucking her dog. Yeah. Remember Shane Dawson? Shane Holy Dawson, shit! Yeah. I and actually, I I want to be very clear here. I never, uh, like, let me be I, clear. I lost, I don't want to say I lost friends, but I had friends who were upset that I thought Shane Dawson was horrifically unfunny. Like, I really did not like Shane Dawson. And I had a bunch of friends, especially at <laughs> that were like, Shane Dawson, like, sta- like, they were like, oh, but he has a hotline you can call. And like, like I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste my minutes. I'm not going to like, call the Shane Dawson hotline. You guys I, remember minutes, right? I, I was, was not going to waste minutes. I was very late to the Shane Dawson train. I watched his documentary on Jake Paul or whatever multiple thing of Jake Paul. I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. I don't really care though. And then I stopped watching. He's, he's, do you remember well at directing? Like, do you I, remember, think he, I think he can be funny. I, I just like back. gay humor. Sorry. Go ahead, Zach. Oh, well, I mean, he is, he is by. Let's go by yeah. Kings. Hey, my cons. Oh, but yeah, but Shane Dawson, um, you know, I never thought he was funny. I respect the the, the bi representation, but aside from that, he can. Uh, I, ne- I never thought he was funny, and he fucks cats, and he's just weird. So, yeah, yeah. Well, my thing things- is like, I the thing is, he has a very similar sense of humor to me. I, I Haley, Haley, I don't want to say hate watches. She watches it. She feels bad that she watches it, but she enjoys the content. I think he is funny. Now, I think now some of his vid- like he'll he'll do stuff and he's got a lot of self-deprecating humor and he'll reference things like, oh, keep that cat away from me or whatever. Like it is kind of funny, like yeah. ne- like after the growth, or, but there's no growth. There's no character development like he and his boyfriend or, or husband, Riley Ryland are they're They're oblivious. Like, I think Shane Dawson is actually smart and playing an idiot, but his fucking husband is dem- like ungodly stupid. Like, just like you can't even be mad because he does things, but he it doesn't he, it, it can't register. He doesn't have the capacity for it to register as something bad or or privileged or anything like that. He just is stupid. And you're like, OK, yeah. this guy's got like an IQ of 90. 
So uh, I can't be that mad at him. And I, I hate saying that. I really do. Shane Dawson is smart and he should be held accountable. He's but a good like, more, marketing guy. Yeah, he's very good at marketing. But like I tried watching his documentaries. There, there's not like a clear reason for them. They're not they're, they're not um, targeted. They're not like um, they're bad. I mean, the editing, I think he is a good editor. I think he's funny. But fuck. Yeah, it's just like there's no it, actual depth to it. I watched a video about his documentaries and it's pretty fucking funny. Like the how he'll he'll like make like a very small thing like extremely a huge deal for his videos yeah. like he, he'll yeah. do he did that ghost hunting and he'd like hear like maybe like a creak of a door and instead of just being like oh you know yeah creak of a door he'd be like, ah, ah, like and that. then be like at a boom yeah i actually do like i think stuff like that is interesting and funny because it's it's sort of a, it is a parody yeah my thing is i also believe that he gets a lot of like weirdly unnecessary or i don't know what the word is the opposite of sycophant the same level of emotional integrity, but for hate yeah, or, or involvement, but for hate, he gets like a weird amount of like distressing hate. Like there are people whose channels are based off of, he'll post something and they're like, Oh, in this scene, he's slightly raising his hand and it makes it look like a Nazi salute. Did you know that he also, it's like, Jesus yeah. Christ. Dude. Well, just look at Chris Chan. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, in we've, the been, sense- we've been near the Chris Chan facility. Remember, did you see that thing where he was trending a couple of weeks ago because people thought he escaped from prison? He's in Virginia. We, I got, I got, I got some friends and family in Virginia. I thought for a second we'd see some Chris Chan running down the streets. Well, that is in prison. Yo, someone like that absolutely what? needs to be locked up. Chris Chan definitely needs to be locked up. You saw, you saw Dream's face reveal. Speaking of, oh my God, Who never reveal shit? face. Who gives never a shit? reveal face. Yeah, dude. He looks fine. He looks like a normal fucking person. Why are people being weird about it? You know that he, think, when he was like 15, he made like a KKK meme edit and everybody calls him racist to this day. You know, it's so funny when Joe was 15, he carved a swastika into a wall on camera. We were all the stupid shit when we were 15. That fucking yeah, kids are so yeah. stupid nowadays. So well, the thing is, the thing is, it's all on camera. I, I, I 35 year olds did racist shit when they were kids. You know what I mean? People 10 years older than us did racist shit when they're like, and we grew up on fucking cod and it's like, it's, it's not a great excuse. It's not, but it's an explanation where it's like, it's a behavioral thing. Like that's what, and that's what I was trying to say in the beginning. It's like, I, I think you can actively be both anti-racist and racist at the same time. Well, like you can, I also to expand on that point too, because I grew up for some context, I was born in Massachusetts and then I spent time growing up in both West Virginia and Maryland. Those are two very different experiences where you live in West Virginia and you're pretty much, uh, it's all white people. Um, and then you go to Maryland, uh, in some of the areas I've lived where you have some, you know, classes in school where I'm like the only white kid, right? Like that's, you know, the, the, the two different dichotomies there. But when you spend a lot of time growing up in West Virginia and someone's quoting something that happens to have that word in it, and you avoid saying it, the group around you will oftentimes think you're weird and single you out and give you hate for not saying it. Oh, in yeah. those, in those right. areas of the country, like you are an outcast in those areas for yeah. not, you, know, you don't need to be calling people that, right? But if you're just quoting what someone says and you obscure that word and you replace it with something else, people, people don't like you for that. And I feel like it's really easy in the context of the modern in the modern world to just say like, oh, um, you still should know that's not okay. Yeah, you're right. But also you don't have the experience as well as growing up as some little kid in some small town. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, where you're insulated from all that and, you know, you don't understand the full context and history behind things and you're just being singled out in your environment. And I, I still like, you know, that, that's not a justification for anything too, but it's also weird to juxtapose that with moving over to Maryland too. And then white people are saying it around black people. And sometimes it's fine. Like, mm-hmm. obviously it's not fine, but like, that's also kind of a weird thing that yeah. happened too. Like, yeah. I don't quite understand what was going yeah. on there. Um, I mean, yeah. I, dude, I mean, even just in fucking Connecticut, I mean, it was, well, um, it's just different. It's just so different now than it was then. Well, I, and there are plenty of times that I've said it was never like, okay. Let me just make sure that I'm clear on that. It was never okay, but uh, yeah, there, there the are experiences th- I feel like go untalked about with how this stuff developed. Yeah, not so much anymore. But there was a, definitely a period of time where 
like I I do I tend to try to realize when I'm telling a story whether or not I need to say someone's race. So it's like if I say like, oh yeah, this dude bumped into me while I was on the subway versus like, oh yeah, I bumped into this black guy. I was like, I, it's not that that's not that. No, easy that's funny, people. dude. But there there was a brief period of time where that itself was sort of like a brave thing to do. There were times where I would just be saying something and someone's like, yeah, well, what race was he? What do you look like? And it's like yeah. that was like actual things that like people would actually care about the race of someone in the story. And it, it's such a weird, like, subconscious thing. You don't realize how weird it is until you're a, a little older and more aware of, like, like, like and when I was in school and people were making, uh, you know, jokes in certain people's directions and everybody was fine with it. Like, that was such a normal thing that nobody was actually directly affected by. Uh, racism bad? Mm. Question mark? Dude, hot take? Hot take? Racism bad. Don't rape as well. Thoughts on well, that? Now hold what? on. Can I can I just say this? I know it's very late to the party. Um, people are like, I don't understand what the argument people are making about Brittany Griner, the f- basketball player. She's from she's from Arizona, dude. Really quick, I know you're gonna get into something here, and I always interrupt you because I hate you and I love <laughs> you. Um, people, when the Brittany Griner situation happened, people in Phoenix went to the Phoenix Suns. Phoenix Suns, the Phoenix Suns, uh, and um, I'm pretty sure whatever our women's version is also there. The Mercury, not sexist, um, went went to the stadium to protest. And my whole thought was, what? What, what are they going to do? There, she's in Russia. Yeah, you know uh, what I mean. Like, I get like go and do your demonstration and everything, but they were like circling the stadium and protesting around the stadium, and it's like, can you, can go to I, City Hall. Like, I, have, I, I don't know. It's, I have no it's idea weird to go what to the you're stadium, talking about. I guess. Well, but, but also, what are you talking like, about? Can, can you, can you, can you, Brittany Griner is a is a WNBA player, Women's who, National Basketball Association. Yeah, who went to Russia? Who went to Russia? The Democratic they, People's Republic of uh, Russia. Is that true? Democratic? No, I have no yeah, fucking. I was going to say. <laughs> I, I think it's uh, the Russian Federation. There's some kind of thing like USAF. No, no, whatever. No, no USAF. You, but. Um, she We're went confusing and, bad even more. Yeah, yeah. So this ba- this American went to Russia, and they found a THC vape pen in her luggage. And Russia's like, we have a very strict, no import, no possession drug policy in in Russia. You have broken a federal offense. We're arresting you. And they arrested her. And they fucking sentenced her to like six years in Russian. Prison. I thought it was more than that. It, it was a lot. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it was way more than that. She is, she got caught with a with a THC vape cart, and now she's in prison in Russia, and she had to like defend herself in trial. Um, let me look at this up, Brittany. And, and my, my problem is, I get the people are arguing because Joe Biden and other like officials <laughs> have have tried to get her nine free. years. Nine years. Did you see that Russia's counter offer to that? N- no, I didn't. Oh, okay. So oh, but hold on, but hold on, but hold on. Yeah, okay, okay. Because okay. my, my problem is my problem is people the argument one argument that I like is well why are we why do we care about Brittany Griner but not all of the other people in American prisons for weed? <laughs> so that's a great that's a great argument. My problem is people are like, how can we stand by and like let her be in Russian prison? Well listen, she broke another country's law. I'm sorry. I, I'm not a Russian supporter and like, there's the same thing happened when the, that kid went to fucking North Korea and he, like, stole, stole a, a poster. Fucking, he stole a poster and North Korea was like, okay. He ended up dying afterwards. Yeah. You remember yeah, that? Like, he got... Like, they put him they, in, like, a working, working camp. They tried him to him send him back to the United States to save him for, for them to, like, cover their ass and it just, like, didn't work. Like, yeah, he, he just died, like, dying. on the plane or something, like, on the plane back to America. But, you know, you know, and I don't like that. Obviously, that's bad. But what are you going to fucking do? Like, he went, she went to Russia. Why would you, you're going to be in Russia for like a month, Max? You don't need to smoke weed. I'm sorry. Like, like, you know what I mean? I, like, I, I, just, I agree and don't agree with you. So, like, on one hand, you're right. I do think, like, there's a level of, um, there is a level of, like, respecting another country's laws, right? Like, the North Korean example is a, a perfect like, example where, like, you know, you know if you're going to North Korea. <laughs> It's don't, North Korea. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, don't even don't look break. at something wrong if they tell you not to. Um, 
and, and the same thing with Britney Grimes. Like you know that drugs are illegal. You're smuggling drugs internationally. Right. Yeah. It is what you're doing, whether whether regardless of your view on, on THC. However, that being said, she is 100 percent being used as a pawn by oh, Russia I, I, and I, I, is being unfairly treated when she is there because of our current geopolitical yeah, stance yeah, 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 yeah. with them. If I this agree, was three years ago, reason, she'd be here right now. So, oh, yeah, but all the more reason, bro, if 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 I was going to Russia, I would that you first are thing. Yeah, well, Vladimir Putin's paying. You're going to be our new correspondent live yeah. on the scene. I'm actually learning Russian. Did you know that? Cool. I'm learning. I'm. I'm. I already know a little bit of German because I'm going, but I'm. I'm uh, continuing to learn German so we can progress through languages together. That'd be cool. I've, I've thought about. I was thinking about German. I wanted to learn one. There are three main languages that I wanted to learn, which were learn, learn German next, and we can talk German to each other. Uh, nine. Oh, I know what that means. Yeah, it's the letter or number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong on both accounts. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, six, seven, uh, acht, uh, nine. P- pedophile. Uh, I don't remember. I'm surprised you actually knew that. I learned. I, I, I learned that. Wolf, I, learned. Fünf, seven, six, and I need to. Oh, I need so. to clean up because Haley's gonna be home in like 15 minutes. You gotta you, do the news. You gotta do the news. I got TikTok still too. I was gonna say which one you want to do first. Do TikToks first. All right. Let me get it ready. <gasps> Wait, you guys didn't hear my song. Oh. The song comes first. Okay, so this is a possum and a peanut song, Sean. I know you like when I make music. I forgot that I did this I, until just now. You gotta, I think you're really going to love this, both of you, and I'm so excited for you to hear it. Uh, we said this would happen last episode. We didn't. So now it's in this episode. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, it's only a minute and a half. So, Sean, shut the fuck up, you pussy. All right. Three, two, one, play. You want to you? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were watching stream. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna do it with this one. It's a black. What the fuck is this, dude? What is this? Omito for the beat. That's content. And if you got this far, let me give you a bar. Trump is a woman, says Roseanne Barr. We're playing Mario Kart, and I'm picking up stars. I always say tick tock, har har when I fart. It's not bad. Awesome doesn't see us driving faster than I see it. He likes to explain shit and wants his little feet. Hicks, lightweight, takes three hits of facetious penis, has got a rear and can't figure out how to treat it. And he knows what time it be, 3.24 p.m. EST. He never said it before, but he has a bedtime. A substance produced by a living organism, which acts as a catalyst to bring about a specific biochemical reaction. Is an enzyme. There's a god among us like that little red guy. Your mom cold told me to tell you that she said hi. Your pen pal Ted never sent a reply. Gonna use this peanut oh, 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 oil to cook me up some french fries. I like the ass one. Possum and a peanut. <laughs> peanut is a car. Peanut is a car. Peanut is a my best friend. Is a possum and a peanut. Peanut is a car. Peanut is a car. Peanut is a my best friend. Is a possum and a peanut. Then I gotta I gotta tell you like every time you release something new I I like I hope Alexis leaves you so I can swoop <laughs> it. Dude I I didn't know how to make my best friend as a peanut possum and a peanut fit there so I just made it chaos. Yo yeah the second verse ain't happening. <laughs> oh there's more. No that was it. No? The second verse ain't oh. happening. I hope you like the possum and the peanut song. Uh, I did. Kind of, kind of. Uh, there's a god among us, like that little red guy. So it's kind of sick. I do like that. That was a bar. Yeah. yeah. Um, we gotta but, take some production courses from you. That was, that was, that was good. No, the thing is, like, the, I he bought he buys these from people, right? Or you're for the free you go on Fiverr for beats. No, the, oh, the beats I just download off. Uh, oh, it, sure. It ha- they uh, have the signatures I, on them. I don't, I don't, I don't buy I, them. I, I've been, I've been trying to get. Uh, I want to get a MIDI controller. Um, and I'm thinking, and I, I just, I want eventually to be good enough to make beats for Ben. But he just finds dude. the great ones. I, and I, just I'll, like, just, I'll just I'll kill a beat, dude. Or what do they say? What do they say in uh, they used to say? Kill a beat, murder a beat. Yeah, 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 dude. A fucking like Casey Anthony. Whatever, whatever. That's a baby down a beat. Yeah. Oh uh, right, right. She does yeah. beat babies though. Well, not and anymore. Yeah. Hopefully, Sean's girlfriend's jacking off in a car and is going to be late. So. This is a bit of a <laughs> bit of a lengthy. Yeah, you. Oh, it's eleven minutes. It. All, right, all right, all right, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. Okay, go, 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 go. You're looking for me. I'm with all the grown men in the corn. Anything more? I hate this video. Baby You've seen this? Why is there a burger eating a pickle? 
What is this stop fuck? motion? No, that's real, dude. No. The, the question, the answer is no. <laughs> the answer is no. It was like an anime shoe. I would, ab I would absolutely wear this. I know. I, this is some fucking ace of attorney at law shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm riding on the road. I have a right to ride, ride on the road. I <laughs> better not hit my phone. Uh oh. You got your slices. Why did she? Me why did they meow at her? I don't they know. Do that? They're, they're, they're fuzzies. <laughs> what the fuck? Help why us! Be We're in danger, sir. I'm not being aggressive. I, I was just meowing at you. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. She got hit by a car. Yeah, but I would love it if that's how the video <laughs> ended, is her just getting pancaked. Silly asparagus bitch. Now, now that starts losing they, me a bit here, I should have cut it. Why did they call her a silly asparagus <laughs> bitch? <laughs> just being weird, just being a weird meme, kids. Tell me a sound that's better than this. Chip poppy manano. <laughs> I'd just be on the craziest shit, like, I'd be at McDonald's, I'll be like... <laughs> I'll do the Big Mac, or like, I'll even like be like, uh, can I get the, uh, french fries? Just some like crazy shit. <laughs> oh, wait, the also, wait, wait, yeah, be too. The, uh, the oh. Fortnite Battle Pass. The what? Fortnite Battle Pass. <laughs> no. Can I get the Fortnite Battle Pass? <laughs> Sorry, honey. Could you add the Fortnite Battle Pass to that? <laughs> <laughs> Man, we I don't love have a this horse. Pass. I love this horse, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that horse. Yo, this, is, this is a spooky TikTok bit, bro. No, this is spooky. This guy has. It's Halloween at some point. The Virgin Mary. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's a, it's a Honda Pilot. <laughs> It's another Ben song. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I would absolutely push this. In. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Enjoy these I hate this. <laughs> How are they doing this? It's real. Welcome to the world. No, but what is that? No, no way. No, it's a, a live banana. What do you mean? <laughs> Bro, did he pay for that? They have this on the cab dryer. <laughs> Let's go! Bro, that's so much that's skin. McDonald's, right? And I get... That's me. Chicken sandwich. It's all right. I get... Oh, I had I have a chicken sandwich story. I had a chicken sandwich one time. And... uh. Oh, so I had a few of these. So there, I, I have this, you know, the McGangbang. I want to make a deluxe McGangbang with mm. one of these. Be fire, bro. One time Experiment. I had, I got, I, I got a this deluxe McGangbang. And the, there, there was cartilage in the chicken and I never had a Mc, double deluxe McGangbang, 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 McGangbang again. Sean, you should make a oh, vegan McGangbang. True. Well, when they give just the bread. Order, they don't give me the chicken. <laughs> just the chickens instead. One, two. So I tell the guy. Well, this would be hey, vegan man, for you, I Sean. Ordered six chicken nuggets, like not this. This meal. Hold and on. He's like, "Oh, no worries, dude. I got you." So give me these six chicken nuggets. There you go. You could eat that. That's tartar sauce. I don't know. That's what you are. I thought this was genius, by the way. I don't care if you don't laugh. your cash app on your... It's literally... What is with the McDonald's? What is... You have McDonald's feed? You know Zach. You know Zach. You know Zach. This is my genuine feed, so it's just McDonald's... They know what to hit me with. I mean, McDonald's is kind of... You know this about him. You know this about him. In the morning, I'm watching my uncle's dog for about a week. In the morning, my uncle is bringing <laughs> uncle me a stop. fucking sausage egg McGriddle. So. Oh, he's bringing you a fucking already. I, but if I'm wearing this, <laughs> he ain't bringing anything. 
uncle's dog? Is is it your uncle's dog or you're is getting your it. uncle you're getting dog it. and you're get you're getting you. it. Yeah. You're good. You're, you're understanding. Oh. Here you go, King. I think you've earned them. Look, I'm not picking on this person, but people that aren't from the country just seem oh, to I've think seen it. Yeah. that we're all yeah. these caricatures and stuff about us and our way of life just isn't. Hey, TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I like these ducks a lot, actually. I, I figured. I thought about not putting this one in, but I was like, Ben would like the ducks. I like the ben ducks. Would, I like the ben ducks. Ben would enjoy the Look the at duck all these army. chickens, bro. It's crazy. Look at all these chickens. Schindler's List? Aww. I've never seen Schindler's List. It's Marsha's favorite it? movie. Is it? Actually, you know, I'm driving the yeah. bus. Yeah. Imagine you're on the train trying to see your girlfriend, Ben. <laughs> You're, and this is we fucking lit. on your but, train. But, oh no, nah, I'm not hitting open. What the fuck? <laughs> that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Oh shit! That was me. Yo, how that speak? Oh no, nah, I don't wanna hit that. Um. <laughs> oh no. How the fuck they leave this shit open? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's how you know this is New York City. Oh. What the fuck? Y'all need to do something about this. Yeah, because if he hits one of those wrong buttons, I could just hit the brake if I wanted to. <laughs> I know, it just this fucks everyone's safe. day up, huh? I'm chilling there. Is this a train? Is this a path train? I don't know what train it is, but it's some train going through New York City. I'm getting off right here, so... I was here last week. Say hello! He's in the stuck. Oh, boy. Wait. Zach, that was the whole clip? <laughs> that was the whole clip. I right. did not cut that. Now, this no. one's appetizing for Shawnee Boy over here. This will turn you, this will stop your veganism right now. Look at this. Stop it. Jerry, I don't think you made his horny. Jerry, stop throwing the plate. Clean it up. Day two of giving Watson Yeah, I signs. fucking love ducks, dude. Why are ducks kind of based? Ducks, ducks are a base. Ducks are, are a dope ass little creature, They're dude. dope, right? Can we make a little? Can we make duck merch? You pass him on a duck? Wait, <laughs> never mind. I threw in a bit of three eighteen too. You can run from me. I love bees. <laughs> Krispy Kreme. Uh, looks like crumpy crom, dude. I've never had Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> You've never had. You live on the East Coast, and you've never had Krispy Kreme donuts. Never once in my life have I had a Krispy Kreme. I guess donut. you live in Duncan Country. I guess I do. They look kind of. If these are actually Krispy Kreme, they can look kind of dope. I don't think they are. Well, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. He's oh, really so strong. That's he's going to have a stomachache for the next six months. Period. I don't think he cares. I think this man's fully content with his decisions. Before the movie starts, let's all say one Avada Kedavra. One, two, three. Avada Kedavra. Okay, one more. We're going to do Expecto Patronum. Wow. Is this, is this Harry Potter? <laughs> yeah. A lot of He's people me. don't realize this, but the small pepperoncinis at Olive Garden? can also be used as a nose plug. <laughs> uh, today we've had a national tragedy. Dragons have invaded Dave and Buster. <laughs> oh my god, I bet. Wait, I don't get it. Yo, Dragons have oh invaded god. Dave and Buster. Oh my god, I bet. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I got it now. I hear them whispering about the places that you be. That's a that's a David. Go. I was with it for a second yeah, we're there. Chilling, bro. I would do this. I I would do this. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's actually sick. What? His haircut's what? whack, bro. I'm what? saying. I'm really excited for the last yeah. two TikToks. <laughs> no, he's dead. <laughs> My favorite song's coming on the radio. Turn it on. Uh, I want to hear it. 
I'll just turn it up myself then. I'm jamming to this. This is the beat. This is the shit. <laughs> Let's go. She did. She had it. <laughs> this is my brother. <laughs> <laughs> that's what well, he realizes yeah. that's impractical. Don't worry. Yeah, because you need you need you need a direction of force. If you just have yeah. like a blunt. Yeah, candle or mashed potatoes? Candle. Oh. <laughs> you need a candle. <laughs> Yo, trick. <laughs> I just thought how pissed his neighbors would be. This is a tunnel that eats people. Oh, Every 10 true. meters in the tunnel, three flamethrowers oh, will be installed. The, right the gates at both ends one. will fall at any time. And those who are unfortunately locked inside will be completely burned by the flames. When the gates open again, the tunnel will be spotless, as if nothing had ever happened. In order to control the ever-increasing population, this is the only way to reduce the number of people in a fair and regular way. But even what? so, people still flock to the tunnel to get into the tunnel, because this road is the only way to travel outside the city. On this day, a family of four finished their tour. They were going back the way they came. The fully automated car took them slowly along the traffic. The husband used the shells he picked up from the beach, making faces and playing with the children. But when he looked back, his smile disappeared instantly. Because according to today's forecast, the chances of surviving the tunnel are only 9%. Because the weather is good today, there were half as many people out than usual. Every hour that passes, the car can advance 5 kilometers. At that speed, it's better to get out of the car and go on foot. Sun was bored and looked out the window and noticed that the girl in the car next to him, was also looking at you, In this moment, the journey home seemed not so long. Just then, the slow moving traffic suddenly stopped. The husband got out of the car and looked ahead to see that the tunnel gates had closed. This is the fifth time this week that the gates have closed. According to past experience, the gates don't close too often. Movie? Their chances of getting through safely are still <laughs> very like good. One, Soon after, two. the gates opened again. The traffic that was so crowded a moment ago disappeared in a flash. With a heavy face, the husband returned to the car and started to move on. But just as they entered the tunnel, but suddenly the surround Surroundings went dark. Would you go? Would you travel out of your city and risk God, no, getting would... population controlled? Yes. I, I definitely make... missed a video, but I don't know if it was the old one or the new one, if I just fucked up on the render. Or no, I'm going to show you how to make a vodka crane. Uh, there we go. Jake our vodka. It's this one. Did I just send the only clip? Was that what I did? Yeah, I think so. Uh oh. Okay. I did not mean to do that. I definitely edited this in. No, no. <laughs> Next, we're going to take our cranberry. I don't get it. That's At this point, level. you don't take don't, don't do the cranberry, right? Like That's the next level like he obviously has an actual issue. Oh. Yeah, he definitely has an issue digesting food, but he has to Sean, take all of his food. Cran. Sean, I need I need your help. What is the symbol yeah. on his hand? Oh, um, which oh, so there's the uh, Renegon. No, the one on his hand. Oh, um, that's something Naruto. Yeah, it's all Naruto, I think, right? Yeah, it looks like yeah, it. That's all Naruto. Yeah, so I think that's probably just like a... I don't know. It's bothering me. Yeah. Well, one time when I was a kid, I saw... Um, there's this, it used to be this old channel called Children of Poseidon, and they were like a jackass kind of knockoff channel. They would do I things like... I vaguely remember that. Yeah, they, they, they started the whole eating cactus trend and doing a bunch of stuff like that. Um... You may have seen L.A. Beast do that. I think they got the idea from Children of Poseidon. But there was one guy that would try to copy them, too. And they, there was this kid on YouTube. I don't think you can find this video anymore. Maybe you can, just not on YouTube. And he tried to challenge the Children of Poseidon to do a different challenge. And I'll never forget this, and I still quote this to this day. What he did was he put a toothpick under his toenail and kicked a wall. Yeah. Even just saying that, oh, my God. It was one of the most disgusting I've seen live leak cartel footage. That video of that kid putting that toothpick under his toenail and kicking a wall. Probably you know, the worst thing I've seen online. I think I was in high school when this happened because I, I vaguely remember telling someone in Miss Ortega's class that it happened. Um, but I was getting a, I, there was this ice cream shop that's like about two miles, maybe three miles 
uh, away from my house, my parents' house. And um, I used to ride there with my mom all the time. And this time, I guess me, my sister, and my mom went, and we were getting ice cream. We're, and it was just, it was, um, it was called Homestead Farm Dairy. It was like, um, it was, uh, it was owned, family owned. They had a giant like corn field, and then it was, they had their own dairy. They had cows in the back, and they made their own ice cream. And we were getting ice cream, and this dude comes in while we're all getting ice cream. So I'm like 13, 14, or whatever. And this dude comes in and goes, "Hey, there's a woman getting the shit kicked out of her outside." And all of us like turn around and like, okay, well, let's, you know, what, what you know, and we take care of this. We step outside. Yeah. There's, so, so there's, and I want to be very clear. It was my mom, my sister, me, the store owner, and three other like grown men. So now, so there's four grown men, the guy who just came in, four grown, four, no, that's five. The store owner, three grown men, plus the new guy. So for context, you're not a violent person. Yeah. So there's five grown men, me, a prepubescent 13 year old boy, my mom and my sister. And we all go outside and there's this guy who is in the process. He's like, I want to say maybe a hundred feet away. He's across the street, um, but just across the street, dragging this woman. She's screaming at the top of her lungs, like somebody please help me. And he's, he's dragging her out of the car while he's hitting her. And he's just like fucking wailing on this woman. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm paralyzed. I don't, it's not even fear. I just like, it's like, it was so unreal watching this that I was paralyzed. And my sister started like walking close. Like she was very slowly like walking forward. And my mom like grabbed her and was like, Rose fucking don't go near that dude. And we're watching it. And all like, there's six dudes just watching this happen. Oh, yeah, you can't, you can't have that. And, and I'm sort of thinking in my head, like, someone's got to do, someone's got to be calling the police. No one's calling the police. And this woman, like, he he's stops, She, I guess he beats her enough, I don't know if she's unconscious or if she just stops asking for help. But she's not asking for help anymore. It's just dead silent, and all you can hear is him hitting her. Like, you just hear the sound of, like, fist on face. And one of the guys is like, that's enough. And he gets in his truck and starts driving towards them. And I'm like, oh, thank God, he's going to stop it. The truck stops. He doesn't get out of the truck. The, the truck stops and then drives off and makes a U-turn, comes back into the parking lot and goes, okay, I got the guy's license plate. Meanwhile, the guy is... <laughs> <laughs> That's the least helpful thing you could possibly do. The guy is. The guy has just finished beating her and, like, shoves her back into the car. He's like, because she was, like, half hanging out of the car, and he's, like, lifting her legs and pushing her back in the car. He slams the door and drives off. And the guy's like, yeah, I called the police with his plate. And... I'm sit- I'm going there like still sort of in shock of like what's happening. And the store owner goes, man, that's so fucking crazy. Like some things just need to be kept private. And I- <laughs> what? <laughs> and you need the, oh, no, I was going to say you need the shop owners from Pulp Fiction, yeah. but I actually on second and, thought, no, you don't. And, and I, I still haven't been able to stop thinking about it. like that's, I think that might actually legitimately be trauma. <laughs> but, yeah, like, that yeah, is exactly sure. what trauma but, is. But like, yeah, but, so, but it's, it's to this day has like severely bothered me. So it's like, I don't know how there are six grown ass dudes. Just go over there. The two of you and beat the shit out. Cause it, it, they're, they're, they were talking like, what if he has a gun? Well, he's not using it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> So, Dude, so those those live leak videos kind of bother me, but the, it doesn't hit the same. You, you unlocked a different memory in my mind. I'm not going to talk about that event, but goddamn, sure. people need to yeah. speak up. People speak yeah. up. People. Well, that's a, and my my whole thing is like I I don't like my sister. My sister and I have had a lot of arguments, and I mean she's trying to be a better better sibling to me, but for a long time, me and her did like just did not get along. But that like to this day, I still think about like. Cause she is only like, um, she's 14 months older than me. So if I was 12, she was like 13. And I still th- thought of her as like being braver than all of it. Cause she started walking to like, yeah. I she wasn't going to be able to do anything, but she started walking towards me. And I was like, I might like, honestly, in my head, I was like, Oh, I, my sister's about to die too. Yeah. But, um, but yeah. Right. The only, the only trauma I have is there was a guy who, uh, in Canada, <laughs> who, who walked up to a car and he goes, you are motherfucker. You are motherfucker. And he walked away. Uh, um, I, I definitely have a lot of 
shit in my mind. But that thing you just said, Ben, reminded me of this time like a couple months ago when I was go- going to like some sandwich shop in downtown Phoenix and I park my car and I'm like about to walk in and this like random dude on the street stops me. He like grabs me by the shirt. And he says, you go in there. You tell that motherfucker that owns that place that I'm not giving him his fucking money. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I, I, I just, I learned to like, not, yeah. mm-hmm. I'm not doing this thing. I just pushed him off and went in and got my fucking sandwich and yeah. left. But that was, that was a whole story arc. I could have opened right there with that guy. Just being like, Hey, you go in there. Hey, when you go in there, you fucking tell this guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't got his fucking money. It's like I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Hey, I'm not. I'm not opening this can of worms, dude. Yeah. I had an. What was I gonna go in like? Hey, that guy out there, you're not gonna get his fucking money. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Just a gun pulled out on yeah. me. Like what? I, I had an interesting experience in, in Rochester when I was in uh, when I was in college. I have, I'm not like particularly like religious or, or spiritual or whatever, but um, I grew up like. Uh, Catholic school and there's like this uh sort of parable or story that they tell it's 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 changed a little bit to explain to the to kids but like the basic story is it's a woman and there's a bunch of people at church and you know they go around they're collecting taxes or or whatever donations for the church and like the rich guys are like giving like six gold pieces 10 gold pieces 30 gold pieces and they're all bragging like oh yeah I just fucking threw in like 30 gold pieces and this the gets to like this older woman and she like opens her little bag and she only has like a silver piece or something. And she like hands it over and the old rich, the other rich people or the rich people, I should say are like making fun of her for only donating a silver piece. And like the parable, like they're like, well, she's actually a better person because she gave all she had versus like some yeah, percentage yeah. of what. Yeah. And it was two, it was two silver pieces. That's why it's important because in Rochester, I was at a concert. It was like, it was like 1 a.m. And I was at a concert just outside um, by myself because so it was this it was on the corner. It was a, it was a, a venue that was like on the corner of a street and people were on the left side of the building smoking cigarettes. And I just didn't want to be with them smoking cigarettes. So I went on the right side of the building all by myself. And this homeless dude starts walking up to me. It's like 1 a.m. And he starts talking to me about how I, I originally was scared, <laughs> but he starts talking to me about how he wanted to do uh, a rap rock album to unite the races. He wanted oh, to do yeah. he wanted to do a rap rock Hell album yeah. to to unite white and black people. And I I started like engaging with it because it's like one a.m. and I'm and I was like three or four beers in, and I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. And he's like, yeah, I just need some studio time. I already have some ideas. Can you give me any money? For studio time. Oh no, no, well, yeah, and, no, dude. So, so I pull out my wallet and I look, and there's two dollars. And my brain goes, "You're gonna be that old woman in the Bible." So I hand him two dollars. That's. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. You were that, you're that I, Bible woman. Yeah, and I united the races that day. He probably you that solved word. racism. <laughs> yeah, yeah but it, I just, it's like it's little things like that that I mean. That just kind of make me feel like a god. You know what I mean? Bro. It's funny that you said that because just two episodes ago I was telling Ben about like why flying is like means you're important and how like even if you have the ability to like take a flight like in the grand scheme of human history, you're like one of the most important motherfuckers <laughs> that's ever lived. And yeah. then Ben's just like, I just like looking out the window. Which I yeah, get. Yeah, I get yeah. that too. And then that's completely valid. I just think it's funny that he has that philosophy. And then I'm over here thinking like Yo, if you're in a fucking airport, how many fucking people in human history have ever got to be up that high? Like fucking one percent. You're fucking god. And I'm and like, then Sean's over here like, I'm like that lady from the Bible. Um, <laughs> and that's our um, view you, of like, look at how fucking awesome we are. Yeah, you know, you just you give what you can. You unite the races. Same same concert. I freak out. I get little panic attacks here and there, just a little bit. Um, I, I sort of, <laughs> I think this was a valid upset i got pretty upset but that i i was able to calm down i'm talking with this dude. It's, it, so there were three bands that came up this was like um a local death metal scene kind of thing oh, yeah. so it was like, it was, like three, shows. it was like three bands and i'm talking with i'm sitting on this couch and this dude comes over he starts talking to me he starts talking to me about psychedelics and i could immediately tell based on his eyes and the fact that he was like looking at my chin instead of my face that he was definitely high as shit 
and he's talking to me. And then as he's talking to me, he asked me a question and I start answering the question and he starts asking another question and spit comes from his mouth into oh, my no. mouth. And, and I'm like, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to fucking kill myself. So I like <laughs> went into the bathroom. I went into the bathroom and I started like rinsing my mouth out in the sink. I start like, I started like having this massive panic attack. I was like, and I was like, I can't be doing this. I can't be here. <laughs> yeah, th- dude, I have a good story. When I was in uh, uh, Washington, D.C., uh, as a 13 year old. I I was walking out of the bus. And a, a, a man walked up to me and asked me for a few dollars. So I opened my little 13 year old boy wallet. Mm-hmm. There's a 20. The little, the little silicone like thing that you can fold up and it's got like six quarters in it for the. Uh, no, you know but no, yeah, I know what you're talking about, but no. <laughs> I, 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 it was a big boy wallet, but I was 13. Mm-hmm. Open it up. Mm-hmm. There's a 20 in there. That's all that's in there. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, well, I don't know if I want to give you the 20. And then he goes, takes it. <laughs> he just fucking stole he it. He stole the twenty dollars from my wallet. <laughs> he took the twenty dollars from a thirteen-year-old's wallet. It's like all the money I had. You know, it's you know, it's also funny. Speaking of church, um, um, my mom loves to used to. I mean, we have a, it's been, uh, obviously stories eventually stop losing their interest, but for a while, she really loved telling this story because I used to, as a kid, I used to just disappear. Like if we were at like a, a museum, I would just wander off and like suddenly the loudspeakers would be like, if your name is Sean, please come to, you know, yeah. yeah. And, or like there was one time at a movie theater where I was like, I'm going to go use the bathroom, mommy. And I was like four or five years old. And my mom was like, okay, go with your dad. And I just fucking walked out and I just sat on the toilet for like 30 minutes. Like I just didn't, I, I went into the stall and just was like there for 30 minutes, like counting fucking, I don't know, the tiles or whatever, just spacing out. And I hear my mom screaming like, Sean, where are you? Anyway, so stuff like that, that happens. So I was like, I was uh, four, like five or six. So I was old enough to sort of go do stuff on my own. So we were at this church event in this giant like mess hall that the church had. And I said, mommy, I'm going to go use the bathroom. <laughs> so I start, she's like, okay. And she could see the bathroom. So she sort of just like watched me walk to the bathroom. And there was like a line. Um, Cause it was a, it was like a church picnic. So there was like a line to the bathroom and I'm waiting in line. And at some point it's my, it's my turn to go into this single person bathroom. And a, apparently I'm not, I can't remember this, but apparently the dude right behind me was like, do you need help using the bathroom? And started trying to follow me into the bathroom. And I stopped short and I was like, argumentative i was pissed i was like i know how to use the bathroom myself leave me alone thank you very much but it it, right it was more it was more like i was mad that he was trying to help me like i I had no concept that he could and the the guy behind him was like is that your kid and i'm like no that's not my dad and they immediately like all you know everyone else in line is like hey leave that kid alone that's not your kid and my mom comes running over because this causes a commotion and my mom's like what the hell's going on and i turned to her and i'm like mommy this guy thinks I can't pee on my own. <laughs> and the guy apparently books it, just starts running like to the exit and, and out. And my mom is like, yeah, so that's when I stopped worrying if you would be raped or not. <laughs> because, uh, you, you've unlocked like five different core memories for me, but uh, I throughout this conversation, some of which could be said on air, some of which cannot. I was, I was um, when I was younger, that's the end of the story. When I was oh. younger, I had a I caused a scare in the school because they thought I was uh, molested. Because and get this over a drawing of SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> yeah. I tried to draw SpongeBob SquarePants, but in my mind, no, no, no. Okay, I tried to draw a man, <laughs> like a real man, but in SpongeBob SquarePants clothing. Like okay. I thought yeah. like in my mind when I'm thinking of what clothes am I going to put on this man, SpongeBob's clothing. Yeah, yeah. Now think about the proportions of SpongeBob for a mm-hmm. moment. Mm-hmm. He's like 80% head Sponge. and torso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like 15 to 20%, you know, clothing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the way I drew this man was mostly uh, it's like it's like the, the the head torso area, normal looking man aside from that, and 
really bottom percent t-shirt pants. A, a, a key characteristic of Mr. Squarepants is the tie. The, oh, uh, okay. the red yep. tie. Got it. Got which it. was proportionally in this image confused <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a male sexual organ. <laughs> And so this, it would make this even funnier. I think at the top of the paper, I wrote hobo land for whatever reasons, because that was what my stupid brain wanted to write. And, um, they, it was caught drawing in class. The teacher confiscated it and it was immediately misidentified as uh, like a naked drawing of a man or something, despite there being a collar, yeah. Yeah. despite there being a collar, mind you. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was sent home. I had to answer to my mom. There were police involved, and I just remember for like a week having to like constantly explain to people, and like someone that's not even like aware of like yeah. this being a thing in the world is just constantly being grilled by police, teachers, oh. faculty members, family members, just being like, "Are you sure no one's done this to you? Are you sure no one's done this to you?" And I'm like, <laughs> "I used mm. to. I don't. I. I honestly cannot even remember the context for this. I. Well, I'm sorry. I don't remember." The reason I don't remember why I knew to make a certain joke but didn't understand the joke, but I I burst into tears in second grade because I went to Catholic school and we had like nuns and stuff like that, and I so I used to stay around second grade is when I started to really stay up, like I would wait for my parents to fall asleep and then I'd go downstairs and watch TV or something. How wild but, is it that nuns exist? Oh, it's it's really wild. Like nuns um, are real things yes. same with the Amish yeah. living from living in maryland True. back there just going into an Amish market and just being like yo mm-hmm. y'all are like real people that's mm-hmm. crazy that is crazy so so i used to watch like comedians <laughs> like uh whatever comedy central and stuff like man the man show and stuff but i never I was like, just thinking of editing all of this <laughs> no, 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 this, is, this is great this is great this is great all, all i always I was thinking about was the uh was the racist uh, joke sean told earlier go ahead sean mm-hmm. Yeah, so I used to like really like copying styles of jokes. Like I would just change the words, but I would try and it wouldn't always be funny, but sometimes it would just be I would just try and change the word and hit the, the same type of joke. And in second grade, we were learning, I don't remember, I think it was February. I think they were trying to do like a Black History Month. And the Hell professor, yeah, brother. And that professor the, the teacher, the nun, brought up the cotton gin. And I said, oh. cotton gin, that's my favorite kind of gin. And immediately, principal's office, they're yelling at me. They're screaming at me. They're like, you know, not you, sh- you should know not to make those jokes. And I like, I don't know, what's second grade? Like nine? Or, or I don't know, like probably like eight, seven or eight. Second yeah. grade? Yeah, seven, yeah. Yeah, seven. They're screaming at me. They're they're like, and they're like, you know what you said. And I said, I actually don't know. I was like, I'm bursting into tears. I actually don't know what I said was wrong. And they like, it was like, I had to, their punishment used to be that you'd sit in a corner and do 20 Hail Marys. Um, and so I had to, do, I, I had to do that. And my, they called my mom, my mom comes, picks me up and she's like, well, what's the joke? And he said, and the nun said, well, your son was encouraging people to drink alcohol. And my mom was like, no one in the house drinks alcohol. So I, I don't think he even knows what that means. And she said, what was the joke? And I said, cotton gin is my favorite type of gin. And my mom was like, oh, no, my son's just, no, that's racist. Not a, yeah. <laughs> it's just racist is what that is. <laughs> so it was like this whole thing where, um, you know, as a kid. That, I know we're going to wrap this up soon. I have news and everything, too. But I, I, uh, I um, <laughs> one time when I was in Maryland, I got called into the principal's office. Mind you, I was doing my work. Yeah. I was, a good, I was, I was just. I was not acting up. I just got called to the principal's office. I go sit down. No, the the principal, and this is important because of the 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 tone and his inflection in his voice. Was an older uh, uh, black guy with like a big white beard, and I sat down in the in the principal's office, and he goes, "Son, has anyone ever told you that you live in a wacky shack?" I never heard this before in my entire life. Said no. No, I've never heard. He goes. Are you sure, son? Look at me. No one's told you you've lived in a wacky shack. No, I'm not. No, sir. Never a wacky okay. shack. You, no. you can go back to class. And I never heard anything from it again. I, I was, was like, fine. I was like, did that principal just call me in to roast me, or people making fun of me behind my back, and you're, I have no idea. You're living in a fucking wacky shack, dude. You're just living in a wacky I don't know, shack. Man. 
Aren't we all, though? I mean, unironically. This whole world, uh, the <laughs> Biden that's, administration? The Biden that's administration the, is a wacky shack, for that's, sure. That's the title, Ben. That's the title. Yeah, we're all living shack. in a wacky shack this late in the episode. Is what we decided to title. I mean, honestly, there's so much conversation about jerking off. Makes sense. Um, listen, so listen, listen. I do have, I do have a, sh- a small story that is going to make me look like a psychopath before the news. I was in. Uh, oh, you got you got to do the news, dude. Yeah, six, seven, six, seventh, eighth grade. Honestly, I only have like five news stories. It's fine. I was It'll in six, six, seventh or eighth grade. His I girlfriend's was, pissed. I was. I was driving. Well, I, I left a bunch of like like cooked pasta on the uh, fucking stone. I, I was I, just burning its house down, and you just don't know it. I was dry. I used to draw like little, like cool little, like you get the big pieces of paper. I draw like war. I draw like people shooting each other and shit. Oh uh, hell yeah! And uh, so this was around the time. <laughs> I thought of, you were gonna stop there. No, this is about <laughs> around the time of the uh, 2008 election. And uh, because my teacher was racist, he didn't like Obama. And because my teacher is the most influential person in a kid's life at that age, I didn't like Obama. So I drew, uh, no, a a a uh, what do you call it when the when the a lynching? No, what no? Okay, good. Okay, 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 no, okay. Obama. No, what what do you call it when when the? Oh my god. When people come to see the the nominee, like a bunch of people, when the people fuck is a called? campaign rally? Yeah, a rally. I drew a rally and being shot up by some random faceless person, and the and and uh, I got in a lot of trouble for a lot of trouble for that. And the cops were supposed to like question me and shit. Um, <laughs> I was like, "What did I do wrong? I just drew a picture, <laughs> but I had like it had like I'm, the Obama I'm thing." Just at- I'm just asking questions, dude. Yeah. I'm just asking questions. It was, it we was, need to like reopen this this whole like childhood trauma stories because I have like twenty. It was, it was pretty, if, if you're if you're bad. comfortable, it's pretty bad. You're good to do the thing. Uh, it's your, oh, I'm good to do my thing. Yeah, it's your turn. Hey, you could have fooled me this week. I'm opening up my notes. We're not going to do the news. All right. Oh, well, I can tell you why. Ba-dum. <laughs> We're gonna do the booze. The booze. Yeah. Because it's yeah. scary. It's, it's, it's scary. Halloween. It's it's, it's Halloween. Scary. Oh, I, um, I, oh, I'm an alcoholic. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> okay, this week's booze is brought to you by Little Green Ghouls and also Grey Goose Vodka. All right. Um it, p- p- play us in. Play us in, Sean. I'm Jimmy right. Fallon and he's the roots. Let's go. <laughs> This past yeah, that's week's... a great Halloween costume for me. <laughs> Thank you. Unforking believable. Uh, this past week, stop oil activists threw tomato soup at the iconic Vincent Van Gogh's sunflowers painting. Many people disavowed this action, but I actually support it. I believe Van Gogh would have loved soup to be thrown at him when he was alive and homeless. Dude, he was yeah. at one point alive and homeless. Yep. Yeah. See. <laughs> CNN reports that more than one in four French gas stations are out of at least one fuel. Great. I can't remember the last time I was I only needed just one fuel. Dude, too much too. Yeah, think about that. When have you ever gone out to the gas station and said two fuel, please? Can I get two? Um, two on pump two? I'll have two on I'll, have two, I'll take two on pump two. Two dollars? <laughs> no, two fuel. Two, just two fuel. Um Two fuel, please, um, and one marijuana's. Fake astronaut scams woman for thirty thousand uh, dollars. This is a professional operation. Yeah. I'm bungling this You're news bungling report. A little bit. I'm bungling this news report a little bit. We're gonna take this one from the top bucket. Let's do this live. Right. Um, fake astronaut scams woman for thirty thousand dollars landing fee to return to Earth. Police say this sets a bad precedent for event parking owners to set prices out of this world. Out of this world because they're astronauts. Yeah. It's well, this is a fake astronaut. Yeah. Uh, um, Alaska snow crab season canceled as officials investigate the disappearance of an estimated one billion crabs. Oh, I heard about that actual ninety percent. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. 90%. Uh, it, was like 90, it was a 90 percent population call, right? In the Alaska, the call. yeah. Uh, this is a real news. These are all real news stories, by yeah. the way. I don't make this up. One billion crabs are missing. One billion Alaskan snow crabs are yeah. missing, and no one knows why. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Anyways, 
hey, hey, Alaskan snow crab season canceled as officials investigate the disappearance of an estimated one billion crabs. Uh, hey, Alaska, I think I know where you could start looking. My wife. My wife. <laughs> Alaska question. Let's go. Actor John Cena recently broke a Make-A-Wish record by granting a total 650 wishes. I bet those kids didn't see that coming. Dude, the, the, the song goes... Uh, Are you happy you stayed up for this, Sean? What, what is it called? What is it called? It goes, can't see that. Can't see me. Can't, can't see, see me. See me. The time Dude, that's good. That's good. Uh, and the last one. This is this is honestly too political. I don't know why I'm bringing this up. Kanye West is in hot water this week for saying he's about to go get this DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. Um, thank God that a failing anti-Semitic artist definition of quote unquote war with the Jews is an off color Twitter thread. And for that, I think we owe a warm welcome to Let's Go Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. The whole Let's thing, the go, Brandon. What happened to men back in yes. the yada, yada, yada. Yeah, Chivalry is dead. No, nah, I don't know about that. I don't know if that was the point. But um, anyways, Chivalry. that's the news. Go fuck yourself. I'm a fork. Go <laughs> fork yourself. Hey, we're funny here. All right. Do you have any closing thoughts, Sean? Um, closing thoughts. Uh, yeah, your mom. <laughs> My wife. I'm gonna. I have to fucking shit, and Adam's in the shower. Oh, my name's Jeff. You should go shit right now, Adam. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was gonna change. Uh, I was gonna change on camera earlier when I changed into this, just to like just funny, funny, uh, naked on camera. But that'd be sexual assault. Yeah, that would be. Uh, that would be real funny. You should definitely do that because of how funny that would be. Speaking of sexual assault, Sean, uh, want to play us out? Oh yeah. Um... Radical. Uh, so, Zach, thanks for. Uh, that was it. That was it. Happy birthday. Bye.